Next big thing I want to watch is when the Suns are maybe next back in town versus the Knicks. So Knicks beating the Suns is every time I pull out. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Welcome to the bracket episode 119. Today we are... Uh, Ken Jack, shut the fuck up real quick. Uh, Beidelberg, nice goldenrod pants, man. Nice what? They're goldenrod. It's the color of the summer. Is that what it is? They're corduroys yeah. too, Nick. They're nice corduroys. They're nice corduroy. Oh. It's a wider whale, so I don't know if it's a panic to pull off in the summer. Ah. Uh, but I appreciate it. Anything that. to say to me? Uh, you got good sweatpants on? These are jeans. These are corduroy jeans. <laughs> these, are, these, are, these are goldenrod jeans, dude. Uh, are they? I can't I can't tell in the in the thing. They honestly look like that like those uh what are they, essential sweatpants everyone wears. I just thought those were those. They're very nice. They're very nice, Thanks, Nick. Man. And I I'm glad we we are agreeing on our clothing because you and I have both had uh well you had a bit of a run on the yak recently where you dressed I, like, I, I accidentally hammed, yeah. I you, get it. You hammed. And yeah. I, 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 I tweeted when that happened that I don't know if you knew this, but I'm sure it was a nothing moment to you. But you one day said to me, looking good, Shaggy, where's Scooby? Because I had on a green shirt and tan pants. <laughs> and, dude, I think about it every day I get dressed. I, d I don't even know I've ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you literally altered my life. For again, it was years ago. It's every morning I get dressed, I think about it. And Staring at like a purple hoodie, like yeah, this doesn't look like something Shaggy would wear, right? <laughs> Shaggy purple hoodie. <laughs> so now you just dress like Fred? Yeah. The... <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Am I clear to say that you, Nick, both you and Fre uh, fights are dressed similar today? No, dude. Fuck. Are, are well, you being serious? It's a, no, it's a joke. No, I know it's a callback, but I thought you might have been still been no, serious. That's a little. You I trust Ken Jack's ability to judge that. No, it's just for the joke. <laughs> uh, before we get into this episode, let's talk about game time. Uh, did you know that you can get your tickets to whatever event you want, uh, especially right around now in March Madness? You can get it for a very cheap price. That's right. You can do it with Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. You shouldn't have to worry about when you buy tickets to your next event because Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets to all of these sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. They have flash deals for all these sudden discounts, zone deals for when you're feeling flexible, and their lowest price guarantee, which means if you can find the same seats for less anywhere else, then you, Game Time will credit you for 110% of the difference. Game Time is the best place for last minute uh, seats, up to 60% off your favorite events. So, what are you waiting for? I'm going to buy those tickets to, I think for me, next big thing I want to watch is when the Suns are maybe next back in town versus the Knicks. I'm not sure Ooh. when that is. But I'll go to watch that. Yeah. That'll be a fun game. Uh, so, take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account and use code BRACKET for $20 off your first purchase. Terms to apply. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Uh, all right, Knicks so. beating the Suns is every time I pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, first matchup of the day, the number five seed versus the 12 seed of which house, fictional house we'd want to uh, move in or live in, we'll say, uh, is going to be the Home Alone Mansion. One of the very most submitted ones, the number number five seed versus the number twelve seed. Probably a less seen movie, but a very cool house, the Mister and Mrs. Smith House, specifically from the Brad Pitt Angelina Jolie one, not the new uh, Amazon one, which is more of just like a, uh, an apartment. Great outfits, though. Really good outfits in that show. So the Home Alone Mansion versus the Mister and Mrs. Smith Mansion, they kind of look similar. Uh, I'm very curious if you've even seen Mister and Mrs. Smith. I've not. Plumber? No, I've not. Really? Yeah. That caused that broke that movie ended up breaking Jennifer Aniston's heart. It did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's why I thought it was so weird how they went through when Donald Glover did all like the kind of crazy promo for that show where he did like the Mark Norman off, coming off stage thing, all that. Like the promo for Mr. and Mrs. Smith is pretty written in stone. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Cheat on your wife, break America's sweetheart's heart, and then yep. get with Angelina Jolie. Uh, uh, I think it's the movie I might have seen the most trailers for without actually seeing. Mr. Uh, Mr. Smith? When that came Great out, movie. I remember seeing trailers nonstop. Yeah. And it was only recently, I forget, some YouTube video explained the plot of it. I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> like they're assassins hiring to kill uh, each other or something. Lower, lower. <laughs> that one you just did, you just turned mine. Let me get a loose, John. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. you don't want one of these. Why? You, you don't want one of these bad boys, Tommy. Too what? much shit, too many of the MGs? Yes. Let Tommy, put, let Tommy yeah, put one No, in. I think he does want one of them. Yeah, let me put there. one in, you yeah, fucking pussy. Yeah, I mean, come on, fights. Who are you to, to... How many MGs is this? 
Tell him after he puts it in. Yeah, we'll try yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it. You can handle it, Tommy. Don't let fights. It's, it's not a breaker. It's, it's, it's not yeah. a breaker. No. Yeah. You'll be fine, Tommy. It's just a, it's just a pack. Clever, yeah. do you remember what happened when I did this to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Well, it's a, it's a big one, so I had to yeah. go. <laughs> I gave I gave one to Clever, and he was like, "I can handle it." Yeah, and then yeah. He disappeared like like the Avengers at the end of Endgame. He just vaporized into dust. No, he vaporized into like throwing up in the bar. Threw up in the middle of the bar. Yeah, like for twenty-three year olds in front of all of us. I feel like I'm a patient man, but. Nothing breaks me when Tommy puts a pouch in and acts like he has a fucking giant like Ed Ed Nettie gob stop. What do you mean? What do you mean? He acts like it's he acts like he has a mouthful of chew because he wants people to know. Rudy taught me how to pack. Rudy's like my big brother. Rudy taught me how to pack. You got to dry out your lip and then you put it in. Rudy always teaches me stuff. I do. I try, but then you like drool. You like can't control your mouth. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just sitting here enjoying a nice Lucy. I'm glad. I'm glad. What's the Miller? Are delicious. Twelve. Twelve. Sorry. Right. For a guy like me, that's fucking white work. I <laughs> like me. Anyone else think it's hot in here? <laughs> uh, so, Clemmer, I sent a picture of the houses in there. Yeah, so oh, the, nice. the, the Home Alone house, I think it's wildly overrated. It's a nice house. It's fine. But it's the first house people think of, maybe because the house is literally a character in the movie. But, like, it, it's not that great of a house. It's fine. It's mm. a fine house. It's not. You I would, would love that house, bitch. I mean, it'd be a nice house to live in, but it's not. It's not like if you could pick any house to live in in movies, that would not. It didn't make my list. I don't think it's that mm. great compared to like all the other movies that I've ever made. Okay, so you're gonna go with the Mr. And Mrs. Smith house? I guess I don't really see much of a difference. I mean, that looks like exactly the same. They're house, the same to house. Be honest. The Mr. Mrs. Smith house, the big difference is that there are guns hidden everywhere. And I don't like, like passports it. and money. I don't, and, oh, money's cool. I don't know yeah. if I want guns hidden everywhere. Yeah, there's maybe lots I, of Maybe I just take the Home Alone house, I guess, just because it, I, I don't really know the Mr. Mrs. Smith it's house. Doug, Doug Lyman, man. I know. I thought you'd watch it. I know. It's, it's one of the few Lyman movies I've missed. Yeah. Uh, Tommy? What else does this Mr. Mrs. Smith house have? <laughs> Uh, lots of <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Dude, uh, you didn't just say what a was single that again? word. I got, I'm fucking packed. Mouth none. <laughs> like, I'm good. I love Lucy. The uh, <laughs> the uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Smith house has a bunch of uh, guns, passports, money, like yeah, I'll disguises. That sounds great. I'll take that. I mean, the Home Alone house is nice lore, but functionally, I mean, think about it. The Home Alone house, its best design was mm -hmm. that it helped you know against a robber, whereas if if he was in the fucking Mr. and Mrs. Smith house, he would have had way more to work with. He would have had fucking true. guns and money it's to true. shoot these people. Red bandits have been fucked. They kind yeah, of do like been absolutely fucked. He wouldn't have had to like make these fake toys. So I'll go with the guns and money and passports. All right. Jeez, that's really... That's really gotten your lip. <laughs> I, I'm totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fights. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Mr. and Mrs. Smith house as well. Um, the Home Alone house, bad neighborhood, depreciating value. Mr. Miss Mouth, Mr. Mrs. Oh, Mr. Now okay. oh, oh, oh no! Oh my God! Oh, oh, no. Lucy boys! Oh, no. <laughs> um, Mr. And Mrs. Smith House is beautiful. I prefer white houses as well. And uh, in that, in the start of the film, I believe they're talking about uh, bonds and stocks and equity. Yeah. So you know, it's a nice neighborhood. Yeah, they live in. I think it's supposed to be Greenwich. Is I'm it Greenwich? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Connecticut. Yeah. Oh, then yeah, fucking definitely that yeah. house. Uh, Nick. I'm going to go with the Home Alone house. Uh, I think it's just real whimsy on the inside. A lot of it's uh, red and green. It's warm. It's cozy. I don't need guns everywhere. I don't want guns everywhere. Uh, actually, you've never seen the inside of the Home Alone house, just so you know. Yeah, yeah that's true. Gymnasium. <laughs> gymnasium, that's right. Yeah. Um, what? The, the, the set was a gymnasium, but yeah, but it's, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I mean, I would bet the Mr. Pretending. and Mrs. Smith house yeah. is also not that house. It's very likely. That's it's a just really a good stage. point, Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rudy? Uh, a zip line from my room to a tree house. True. Very fun. Uh, That's good pretty good. good they point. have yeah. a shed in Mr. and Mrs. Smith where like when you go in and you like, press a button and it's like an elevator into a secret room filled with guns and shit. Though. Oh, That's also very cool. like in the pacifier. I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want one gun, let alone... Yeah, the, the gun... Well, it's not just the... I keep focusing in on the gun, but there's also like the disguises and the cash and all that shit too. It's actually What do argument, I need that for? It's an argument against the house that I'd buy it. And have to hire a contractor to be like, yo, could you take this badass room? And, is this zoned? I don't know. Maybe put a pinball machine in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're going to go with Home Alone House. Rudy? Yeah, just because it's more regular. Fair. Uh, I would go with the Home Alone House for all the reasons Nick mentioned. The nostalgia. I do enjoy that like 90s homey feel. Uh, the zip line, but there's one thing about the house that I cannot overlook, and that is that there is a tarantula. Ooh, oh, yeah. On the loose. Buzzes, buzzes tarantula, it's and true. it's prone to get out. 
I would not be able to sleep well. Tarantulas do seem docile, but not welcoming. So I, for that reason, I'm going to go with the Mr. and Mrs. Smith house. Also, at the end of the day, they have a fantastic kitchen. I do remember that. They do have an yeah. amazing kitchen, yeah. and they blow P-O-B it up. On that tar- Point of the bracket so far in the tarantula. <laughs> P-O-B. For- also, Home Alone House, that kid pees everywhere, too, in it, right? Uh, it's, yeah, it's uh, Emmy Award winner. Yeah. Golden Globe Award winner, Col- Karen yeah. Culkin. And, yeah. and literally the cause of my greatest childhood fear, which is the furnace. Oh, oh, that yeah. first was scary yeah. as fuck. That's like true. I was terror. I was terrified of the first in my house for no reason other than that movie. Yep. Uh, next, or er, uh, sorry, rather, KB, your pick. We're three to two right now in favor of Mr. And Mrs. Smith. I don't. I don't know either of these, but um, what kind? What kind of tech did the you Home Alone house? You don't have? know the Home Alone house. This is. It, a sh- it's been too. It's. I've seen the movie. It's All been right. just too okay, long okay. to remember the inside of the house. What tech? Uh, games? What kind of fun? Uh, Anything? Not, Not really. Just a no. lot of tchotchkes. Yeah. That's the biggest yeah. thing I remember about the house. Yeah, no, I'm going the Smith house. Yeah. Speaking of Home Alone, uh, Tommy, you owe me 20 bucks. Go on. No, nah, never mind. Never mind. Speaking of Home yeah. Alone. Never mind. Doesn't matter, I, want, I want to know now. I need, I yeah. need to know. I, I'm confused. No, no, let's move on. Oh, Home Alone. Got it. <laughs> 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 very Jeez. clever. Oh, very good. clever. Oh, very clever. That was good. That was, that took All a right. second. I got it first. I got it first of everybody. <laughs> no, um, I think that's what Nick did. was insinuating. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is number four seed versus the 13 seed. The four seed is the mansion from Richie Rich. Uh, massive, massive that? manor. Oh. Uh, another pure, uh, Macaulay Culkin movie. Um, it's actually, I looked it up. It's like a, the Biltmore Estate in yes. Maryland or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean th- this I've house. Heard of that. What's this that? This Richie Rich house. Yeah, I sent pictures in the chat as well. That's a famous house. Yeah, it's Fuck a, that shit. Yeah, and that's, I'm not with that. It has it has a McDonald's in the house. It has a, a home. Yeah, the Richie Rich in the, in the Richie Rich movie. I've never seen it. Was he named that before or after his wealth? Before, because the dad's name. He they own like Rich Industries or something like that. Yeah. This looks like the, uh, the, name of the place. Saltburn House, kinda. Uh, much larger, I think. But like, yeah, the, the same. Saltburn House. You mean Saltburn? Yeah. You have the salt burn, the salt burn state. And that's going up at summer 13 seed, the Frodo Hab- uh, Hobbit Hole. Hell oh, yeah. The Hobbit Hole. Bags End? Middle, Bags End and Hobbiton. Um, so, and that's also in the chat. If you haven't watched Lord of the Rings, just a big, in, in eco-friendly in-ground house type of deal. Uh, so, the manor from Richie Rich versus the Frodo Hobbit Hole, KB. Um, it's, come on. The, the big... We lost I your wouldn't audio. Fit, oh, I wouldn't you. fit in the fucking house from Frodo. <laughs> I hate how little you know about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> He's not rolling. I, the ceilings are so low. Yeah, the but, wizard's walking around all hunched over. Yeah, but the Gandalf's I'm too, like, I'm too big. Gandalf's like, Shadow Fax. Shadow Fax. Uh-oh. That's the but K- Kyle, wouldn't you maybe like that as a guy who sometimes gets attacked unfairly for a shorter stature to be walking like, oh, you'd feel very tall in that house. Cool. KB wouldn't fit um, in the Hobbit house. I, I would just much rather live in a gigantic mansion with a McDonald's in it. I'm guessing a lot of other tech. The I, I will say I thought that Gandalf was like six five, just based on the movies and everything. He's five six. The idea this is a debate. Gandalf's no. five six. Yeah, I just looked Wait, it up. In the what? Hobbit? Yeah. No, the wizard. He's wizard. five six. Oh, the wizard is five six. I thought he was okay. much. And he's like a powerful, looming figure in that. Yes. Yeah. I'm. Um, yeah. Uh, that place, <laughs> that, that town, yeah, <laughs> that town. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't uh, matter what the house is. <laughs> uh, Rudy, uh, this is easy. I'm going the Hobbit hole. It's- this is crazy. You guys just haven't seen the fucking movie. Then, like, this is crazy. Wait, 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 what is this? What? Are, what uh, is this we all place? have to agree with Glamour. No, it's just, yeah. you're choosing like the nicest mansion of all time in movie history. Versus like some hole, literally a hole in the ground. <laughs> this is fucking madness. Go. Dude, it's a beautiful it's village. It's about the community. <laughs> it's about the lore. It's about the wizardry. It's about the magic. You don't get it, dude. You're it's about be... the round doors with the knob in the center. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that works. <laughs> and good, good cheese in there. Wine. Company wine. Beer, gotta... mead. Dude, what is it called? They smoke that shit out. Oh, they Bags smoke it out. End. Frodo yeah, Bags End. I want to look up the inside. Yeah, it's look up Bags End. Gorgeous Bags neighborhood. End. You're going to be sitting in that old decrepit house, looking like Dracula, <laughs> minus the swag. He's got swag. Wait, why do you have swag right now? I know this you is got that bikini deal. bottom swag. You're dressed like Chance the Rapper right now. Me? Yeah. I'm wearing a I'm wearing a uh, Miss Peaches hoodie. What are you What's talking bikini about? bottom swag? I actually just bought a Miss Peaches hoodie. Yeah, I wonder yeah, why. 
cool. The color of Thanks the, for adding that, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> the town bikini bottom. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I, that, that mansion's too big. They scare me. Um, they, I feel like it's a place where ghouls hang out. It's haunted it's not, by. It's not all Richie Rich. All right. It's not at all what the mansion was about. It was about fun. It's a great house. Well, doesn't someone try to kill his parents for his wealth? Well, the, there's, right? a, there's yeah, there's a, Richie Rich. Uh, also, the comics often gets into uh, trouble or, or trouble mm. finds him because of his wealth. Mm. Not so much uh, the house. Yeah, too big, too big, tacky, <laughs> tacky, tacky. Uh, Nick, also, I don't want I don't want servants. I don't want, I don't want McDonald's employees living in my house. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> that fryer sound just beeping in your house all day well, long. Well, it's a giant house. You can hear it. You don't. Need, it's, it's a giant house. Yeah, still, I mean, you got it. That's I, echoes I don't want the a hole. house. I don't want it too big of a house. Um, I want Bags End. Yep. Talk to him. I want giant pumpkins growing in my front yard. Mm -hmm. I want to go to festivals and watch fireworks. You you mm -hmm. would be hunched over the entire time you're in this house. Think about Gandalf walking around. He's five foot six, and he's all hunched over in that house. You mm -hmm. guys couldn't fit in this house. It's cozy. Mm -hmm. Very cozy. You guys are full of shit. So Stephen Shea, the mansion from Richie Rich or Bags End from Lord of the Rings? Rich, Richie Rich. I, I, so I haven't seen Lord of the Rings, which might come as a shock. No. But, uh, no. Yeah, the Richie Rich mansion. It's got everything. What did Thank it you. All I've Thank heard you. Is McDonald's. It has a McDonald's. That's sick. <laughs> what else do you need? Uh, so that's one for Richie Rich? Fights. Um, all right. I agree with all the arguments that have been put forth for Hog's End. Hog, Bags End. Bags End. <laughs> um, it is, it's a, it's a humongous barrier of entry for me that I can't stand up in my own home. I, yeah. I would prefer how, to how have. How many times do you stand up in your apartment fights? <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> it is, I, I would prefer the, the cozy house in the hill. I would prefer the mead and the cheese and the wines and all that. Um, I like that the whole house is covered in grass. I, I am one of those weird guys. I got to be able to stand up in the house. Mm -hmm. And I did I actually, <laughs> I, I saw for the first, I, I very recently, maybe last week, two weeks ago, watched The Hobbit or, or whatever it's called, Lord, Lord of the, the Rings, Rings for the first time. It's good. Yeah, the big I've been I've been meaning to get around to it. It's, it's a very odd experience watching it now because it's such a memed movie that I see everything. Like, Through that lens, yeah. The, the stakes are so different than how I learned about it. Like, I see the guy doing like, why shouldn't I take it? It's mine. And mm. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's like when your girlfriend steals your sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, it's not like for the souls of the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's very good. Yeah. That's one for another one for the Hobbit hole. Tommy? No, he went for the uh, oh. mansion. I thought you said you wanted the Hobbit no, hole. No, no, no. Stand up I, 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 if everything was equal, I would, I, would like the, I would prefer the Hobbit hole over a huge mansion. I also do not want a big mansion. But... I gotta stand in the house. And also, okay. isn't the mansion attached? Is it, am I misremembering the movie? Isn't the mansion attached to? Uh, is it the mansion in North Dakota? Doesn't he like go out into Mount Rushmore? No, at some I think point? it's supposed to be in like Chicago or something. No, you're talking about Richie Rich. It's supposed to be like outskirts of Chicago or I some forget shit. Forget now. I haven't seen the movie since it came out in '94. I so. thought there was a scene involving Mount Rushmore, but maybe that's a different. No, movie. it's like Mount Richmore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. 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 They do their own their own thing. I see. Uh, okay. So three to two in favor of the Hobbit hole. I was on board with the Hobbit hole, but a new point of the bracket was brought up by Fights when he was Ooh. talking about standing up, <laughs> and I also would prefer to stand up in my house. So <laughs> I'm gonna go. Murder it pains me to give in to Clemmer. I will go with the extremely nice mansion. <laughs> All right. So three to three. Yes. Richie Rich, Rich, Rich versus. House. Thank God I got rid of this fucking Hobbit. I need more spec I'm for round two. All I know yeah. is McDonald's. That's all I have is McDonald's, and I don't think I want that. I yeah, would like, like a, a go McDonald's. Go kart track? Go -kart oh, track? Track? that's yeah. something. Wait, Mention wait. the go kart. No, I mean, right. guys, it's been I think three years. I think you're confusing that with it. Confusing check. with a different movie that we will be talking Blank about. Blank check house? Oh, oh, yeah. That's a good one you're too. confusing that with a different house, which will be mentioned. Which will be mentioned. Next matchup. Same actor? No, no, Brian no. Bonsell was in Blank Check and, and Macaulay Culkin. Culkin. Yeah, that's one of the most perverted things I've ever heard. Yeah, knowing that kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid then, too. We're having, like, Brian Bonsell. No, was I was a kid, too. I did what other kids do. You forget his name. Yeah. He was on Family yep. Ties. It was a big show in the 80s. He was on Family Ties. <laughs> <laughs> that was a huge <laughs> show. How'd you forget? Uh, oh, that was Brian Bonsell. Great smile. Uh, Good dimples. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. No. The tightest little ass. I was talented. I did not. 
I did not sexualize him, you creepy fuck. I simply knew his name because he was on a big giant show. He's like, I don't know a single boy. Like boy. Little boy. I don't know one boy. <laughs> not current boy. Can, you, can anybody name a boy? <laughs> Brian. I, I have no I boys. See, no. I genuinely can't I name a the boy. the first and last name of any boy. None. <laughs> I was in the Columbia I line, a white fan. This is just not yeah, family, I could've, I could've non family you, members. I can't. I could have no. given no. you the Stranger Things kids, but they're all thirty now. Yeah. Um, so I don't name know. me somebody under under fourteen. Can't. No way. Uh, right now, I could. No. Yeah, I could do it from the eighties because I was that age then. Uh, you could. Yeah, no, right now, a current under fourteen year old. Oh, uh, Must Blue be. Ivy Carter? That's a, they they yeah. were saying boy. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah, boy, boy. I guess St. West? Yeah, St. West. Who's what, the kid in room? What's he doing? Who? St. West? Nah. He's like five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Probably not a, not a I know the kid. Prince George. Jake oh, Tremblay. Jacob Tremblay, Jacob Tremblay, Tremblay in room. Yeah. In room. He's no, he's older now, too. He's uh, older now, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can tell him from the 80s. That's the nature of boys. <laughs> yep. So the only... <laughs> The only boy you know is a boy that was cast for uh, being the uh, child of uh, sexual assault in a in a room uh, for several years. In the room, yes, because yeah. it was an Oscar nominated movie. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Very good movie. Uh, next matchup is the eight seed versus the nine seed. The eight seed is Clemmer. I'm sure is thrilled about this one. The Parasite House, which you tried to bring up in the last one. <laughs> oh. yeah. Parasite it's a great ass house. It's a cool ass house. Do, uh, do you have the Asian family you, living in the wall? You don't no. have like people living in the house. You All just right. get the house. I'd argue it, it's not the parasite house if the Asian family's not. I think living. they have to be living. No, because you can use that space for fun on yeah, your own. Yeah, I they're th there. No, they're there. No, I no my my idea is that you have that space to. Well, then you don't get that McDonald's and the go kart. Yeah. And no, like you do because it's not. You're not getting even call it Culkin. But a main feature of the house is there's an Asian family. No, the main feature of the house is you have the, the Asian area family. Is the Asian family it's live. an accessory of the house. That's, much more like the yeah. McDonald's. It's like a sun, like a skylight. I don't like this. So that's going it's to just like the skylight. <laughs> I, I would, I would have to agree. I think the Asian family has to be there. No, all right, they have to be there. That doesn't, that doesn't uh, lessen its value to me. <laughs> Max about to put, make this the right yeah, seat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I had the opportunity. I don't want roommates. <laughs> and this is going up against the number nine seed, the big daddy loft. You don't get the small boy living there. Just giving you a heads up, Clemmer. Uh, so the parasite <laughs> house versus the big daddy loft, which again, in that movie, he was supposed to be like slumming it. He worked yeah. as like a toll booth guy living in like what would be like a $9,000 a month yeah. loft in New York City in Manhattan. Uh, so Clemmer, yeah. you're I'm happy they did that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it gave us hope. I wouldn't want them to film the movie in a tiny apartment. No. Yeah. Uh, Clemmer. Parasite House is awesome. I, 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 I'm voting my way, which is the way that you have the house to yourself, and then you can do cool stuff with that downstairs area. I'm saying uh, Sanctity of the Bracket. Can you do that? Sanctity of the Bracket. I'll allow it for Clemmer, but the Asian family is there in the Sanctity yeah. of the Bracket. <laughs> yeah. But. So one for the Parasite House. Not my to me, it doesn't matter. Asian family, no Asian family. I'm taking the Big Daddy loft. Like that's awesome. I like living in New York City. I mm. want a nice apartment in New York City. Like that looks. I mean, I know it's gets said before, but nothing warps your reality more than like. TV show, movie apartments, oh, where they actually yeah. look like. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's like literally that would maybe be one of my top ten locations in the world to live in. Is that Big Daddy Loft? Because it's, it's in New York City. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I, going Big Daddy Loft. I do not but, want to live with an Asian family in my walls, and it's not because they're Asian. It's because they're in my walls. For, for, argu <laughs> for argument's sake, though, with the Big Daddy House, is there constant piss on the floor with newspapers covering up? No. Okay. Yeah. No boy, no piss. No boy, yeah, no, no boy, piss. no piss. So yeah. I mean, unless you're doing that, then no. <laughs> it's like yeah. a Bob Marley song. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, woman, no, no, cry, boy. no boy, no piss. Uh, fights. Uh, I'm gonna agree, I agree wholeheartedly with Tommy. Uh, I'll take the Big Daddy House. There will be piss on the floor. <laughs> um, wait, what? Do we know what neighborhood it is? Just out of curiosity. I, just spent I think it's Greenwich Village ish. Because well, if we're assuming it's close to the McDonald's. That where McDonald's he gets out. is yeah, by yeah, Washington it. Square Park. It's kind of scary. Uh, McDonald's in these. Movies. I thought it was lower Manhattan too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah. It, it was. I, I love that apartment. It's a no-brainer for me. So two for the Big Daddy Loft, one for the Parasite House. Jay, as a person who's like in the market for a home right now, the Parasite House is like incredible. Like I can't even imagine how that photographs on Zillow. That is a uh, like strong one seed for me. And we're taking. We're saying you would never live in a footballless country. Oh, uh, uh, well, I don't like that. attend games very often, so like I don't think I would mind the time. Necessarily. The time difference would be rough. What, what time is wait, in what, Korea? Is it? Is it Korea? Uh, Korea. Uh, time is in like Korea six a.m. I think would be like right. Let's see what's up. I could do that. I could do that. What time is it in South Korea? 
Not that it would matter which Korea. He's just <laughs> texting his girlfriend. <laughs> 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 it's 4.30 in the morning right now in uh, Ooh, Korea. No. What, what do you so, think, Jay? Let's do Eastern time. So, so it would be a, a 2 a.m. kickoff. Thir- 13. Oh, that's, 2 a.m. kickoff? For a 1 p.m. game. Yeah. Like two and a half oh, hours. Boy, that's tough. Is Jay's mic on? I hear him. You guys hear him? I hear him. Mic not on. I hear him. Okay, you guys yeah. hear him? In your headphones? No. I think it's because he's using that. Uh, I don't know. He's using the Bluetooth. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, good. Chay. What? Oh no, no. He's using the, those computer yeah. headphones. I'm using the headphones. Yeah. Yeah. No, I hear him fine. As long as you're connected. You can hear him fine. Okay. Cool. We got him. Uh, um, so go ahead. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would find a way to make it work. It's only like twenty something Sundays a year. I would do. Uh, the uh, parasite house. The Asian people house. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No for the parasite house, Nick. Um, looking at the Big Daddy apartment, I want a dog, and you can have a dog with those steps. Spiral, correct? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they could just not um, go on that floor. I want my dog to sleep in bed with me. So you're gonna stick with the uh, parasite house? I want to take the parasite house. I'm. I would love to live in Asia. Mm-hmm. Another for the parasite house. Yeah. Kate, Rudy, clean up. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm with Tommy. The, yeah, the the Big Daddy Loft is is everything I, I want. On it, I was ruined by rom coms growing up because the main character would always be like a bartender or a busboy and would have a four thousand <laughs> yeah. square foot apartment in the in L. A. or yeah. New York City. It's amazing. The Parasite House is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but I can't separate myself from the uh, parasites living in the house in human form. So. Big Daddy House. Fair enough. KB, you're going to break the tie. Oh, Big Daddy House for sure. That value is crazy. It's in Soho. <laughs> I looked it up for that size. Wow. Airbnb <laughs> that. So much money. And it's cool. I've never seen you attack something with that much enthusiasm before. <laughs> yeah. That was those, incredible. Those steps are a nightmare. The steps? Yeah. You keep saying that. That's fine. Nightmare. You, you live in that world. I Yes. Yeah. Nightmare. <laughs> Uh, you could put your bed on the, on the first floor and then non ish non ish shortened this, ish I shortened issue to ish there yeah oh cool <laughs> uh, so the big daddy house is going to move on the big daddy loft that is now we have the number one seed versus 16 seed chain we'll do the chain options first uh, we have the full house house from full house uh, the code That's a painted lady in San Francisco wait one more time which one was it the full house house from what full house <laughs> Got it. Okay. Thanks. Against the <laughs> code name Kids Next Door Treehouse, <laughs> which is just like us, Matt. You'll and again, all these pictures are in the chat too. If you want to take a look at them, okay. uh, the Billy Madison Mansion, which I felt was like very nondescript from what I had remembered from Billy Madison. I just like I remember him being rich, but I didn't remember cool backyard. Much about his house. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Like the pool, house. the pool, and like Chris Farley being there. And, um, well, it was uh, Norm and someone else, right? Was it Chris? Was Chris Farley? In Norm the- McDonald. Uh, Chris Farley is. Who's the two that was there in Chris the? Chris the bus drive. Yeah. Bus driver. So it was Norm and Norm, somebody else. And, yeah, like, and Ar- was it Artie? No, it wasn't Artie. No, it I might have been Artie. I'm not sure. I forget. Uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, uh, the Knives Out Mansion, the Proposal uh. Lake House, which the Proposal Lake House is beautiful, but I just don't know if enough people had seen the proposal. Um, Tom Hanks' apartment in Big, which has like the big little basketball court in it, as you can see. The Friends' apartment. Cameron's house from Ferris Bueller's Day Off and the Disturbia house, which I don't remember much about Disturbia, but I do remember it being a very cool house. Uh, and that's all in the there for you to see. We'll start out with you, KB. Which one of these chain options do you uh, like the most? Uh, all right. Well, what is this uh, see-through one in the woods? It's Ferris Bueller, That's right? Ferris Bueller. Yeah. But that's his friends, right? Even a house? It's a garage. Like a, there is a house attached. A that's just yeah. the garage. I think you got you got to go with the Billy Madison mansion. The Billy Madison Mansion. Which one is that in here? Um, it's, it's like the most nondescript one. The, well, second, the second one. The gigantic pool <laughs> yes. in the back. Yeah. So one for the Billy Madison Mansion. Rudy? Um, this is tricky. Well, first of all, the Ferris Bueller house, I know I would die of a ketamine overdose if I lived with that many windows and just that vibe. What makes you say that? It's just how I feel. And the full house house looks like a fucking nightmare. That's just too small. The Knives Out house, way too narrow of a staircase. Don't enjoy that. Uh, too much wood creaking all over the place. I love Disturbia. And there's a sexy woman that lives next door. Mm. Is it Haley so Berry? I'm Disturbia. Rihanna. Rihanna? Right? Oh, I thought it was Haley Berry. I mean, that, is not, that is the song Disturbia by Rihanna. Oh, yes. Ah. Yes. So one for the Disturbia house. Nick? Uh, I think I have a, 
a maybe an ego, or maybe a tremendous ego. I would love to live in a landmark, and the painted ladies are beautiful. The park across the street. Oh no, I'm not. That's that was close to the top for me. Um, give me the full house house. I was like the the proposal. That's in Sitka, Alaska. Is it not? Ooh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. And well, it's oh, too yeah. isolated. And you have to that's take a boat isolated. a boat to get there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a tiny island. little water plane and then a boat. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Uh, I don't want anything too big, too impractical. Um, I mean, like the the Ferris Bueller's house was a drive into Chicago pretty quickly, right? It was a burb of Chicago. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Give me the painted lady, man. One for the full house. Give me full house. Uh, che. And I have to go do a sketch real quick. Kyle, okay. if you, you want to be in it? Um, the painted lady. What is that? All right, guys. They'll be back. Painted Ladies is like uh, a street in San Francisco that all, all the houses are like kind of. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I didn't I don't know, know why that. specific call. Send that, Blutman in if you can. Can you send Blutman in if you can? Oh, yeah, true. Sitcom royalty. Uh, so you're, uh, the full house, the Painted Lady is the full house house. I got you. Painted Ladies is like that street. Sure. I, I don't know enough about San Fran to be honest. Yeah, no, I, it's, it's, I, I, it's I got like, it. It's like, it's like that area. Okay. I got you. Here's what I know about all... San Fran. It's become an absolute shithole where homeless people <laughs> rule the fucking street. Wait, why is that? Why, 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 do, why do homeless people rule the streets? Whose fault is that? Gavin Newsom. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure. Uh, so, Che, which one do you like? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I mean, living in a giant house uh, close to Chicago. I mean, we come into work. Uh, be great. Uh, as someone again in the house market, like that, that would crush uh, mm. in today's market. So one for Ferris Bueller's house. Yes, I got to tell you, this is a tough one for me. Um, I, I am first of all deeply offended by the fact that you didn't know if everyone had seen the proposal. I don't. It's, that's not, that's, that's like, a fair. I, I have not seen it, and I know it'd be I've right up my alley. It. I just haven't. seen you it. You have to like go out of your way to not see the. Proposal. It's on TBS. It's, it's actually. It, it's like not the a bad movie. Is, I don't no, think it's great. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I I watched for the first time recently a different Ron Reynolds rom com that I loved. What the fuck is it? Um, just friends. Definitely, maybe. What's the one where he was definitely? Fat is, and they became what's the skinny? one where like the? Uh, it's like. Guess which one's your definitely mom? Maybe. Yeah, love that. Yeah, loved it. I think you'd like the proposal. I bet I would too. Just. Which one is it where he gets he's fat and he becomes skinny? Just, just friends. friends. That's just, just friends. friends. Yeah, that's just yeah. friends. That's a banger. Um, but uh, I think I'm gonna go Knives Out. No, it is a cool. Ass I house. think Knives Out's been greatly overlooked. People aren't even you know mentioning why? it. It's because you're a sweater guy, and that's a sweater. <laughs> home. You're wearing what Chris <laughs> Evans wears in the yeah. movie, basically. That is a great point, <laughs> Rudy. Yeah. It is very yeah. much a sweater home. I am a sweater guy. Massachusetts, New England. Yeah, New England yeah. guy. It's a New England. Um. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna stick. I get all the trash keys inside. All, all yeah, the knickknacks, all, all the knick-knacks. decorations. Yeah. yeah, I love it. That knives out house. For, knives out house, if I may say, is kind of like a bigger bags end. I feel like there's it's got that, it well, that warm, windy. welcoming feel to yeah. it. Kind of old fashioned a bit. Yeah, no knives out is perfect. I like that. You're kind of swaying me. Fuck. I forgot <laughs> about the room with the knives and the, yeah. like the circular <laughs> pattern. That's, that room is so cool. That cool ass attic where they were playing Go. Right. It was yeah. all pretty cute. Pretty cool. <laughs> Tommy? So I'm assuming this isn't on here. I didn't get a chance to submit one. Can I submit one and then vote for it? Sure. Uh, Logan Roy's apartment in succession. I like the idea of New York living in New York City. I was going to go with the Friends one, but then I thought, you know, if I'm going to go with just a nice New York City apartment, I'll go with a nicer one than that. A place looks fucking sick. Yeah. Logan Roy's place in succession. It's the nicest New York City apartment that I can think of from something off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with that and vote You could with not that. handle the height. <laughs> what do you mean? You get a private it's elevator. Too high. It's too not high. too high. It's not, too high. Well, no, I'll be fine. You cannot handle that. No, you I cannot. can definitely I know handle you. that. No, you cannot handle that. I can handle the height. Having an elevator no, that cannot. opens into your apartment is so goddamn cool. Yeah. That is just incredible. I don't know if I'd like that. You don't think so? Well, yeah, like, you can't know. get there unless you have like your key. Yeah. I've seen you traverse rocks, Tommy, in Boulder. There was a rock that was three feet high. Yeah, guess what? There's high. no fucking rocks in in Manhattan. Like, yeah, no, you're thousands of feet in the air. You would immediately get vertigo. I would absolutely not. I don't. I, contrary to popular belief, I don't have vertigo. Mm. Uh, so right now we have one vote for is. the Full House Mansion, one vote for the Billy Madison Mansion, one for right, Knives Out, one for Cameron Ho- Cameron's House and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, one for Disturbia, one for Logan Roy's apartment. And so we're basically no one's in the lead right now. Right. You could break it right now if no, you want to. No, I'm going to make it more difficult. I thought of something on my way and in. And then we have Blutman break it. And then we have, yeah, I, and then I really want to do, and Perfect. that is uh, the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Mansion. <sighs> Damn it! Uh, Which one? The Which one, one, the one that DiCaprio, lives in. not mansion, I guess. Sorry, the house that he, you know, basically the next to Sharon Tate, where he has that pool that overlooks yeah. LA. That house is yeah. awesome, 
I completely that's forgot cool about literally until I walked in it's here. It's not so. that big though, right? It's not huge. Uh, at it's all a ranch ranch style, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, but I really like the look of it, and I like the feel of it. It, and it, it has like an overlook of Hollywood. If that I is the coolest it. thing. That yeah. oh, the, the the house where the party is and the nice guys. Yeah, that's yes. nice. oh. Oh, this is good. I'm, I'm changing my vote to the, the house Ooh. where the party is and the nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll ride with, I'll <laughs> with that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't know I if like that really counts. It's like a ten minute scene. Yeah, no, I like that. No, it's a movie. No, it's all right. And it's got a pool. It's and bigger. It, than, it's basically all the things at once upon a time, yeah. but it's bigger and nicer. <laughs> they, they throw the body off. The yeah, thing yeah. And it just rolls into somebody's <laughs> yard. Uh, fuck, that's a good movie. Uh, I mean, Nice Guys Mansion is going to move on then. Uh, the Nice Guys Mansion, as we introduce Blutman as well. Uh, so we're doing fictional homes that you would want, by the way, just to give you the heads up. Um, the We're going to have the Nice Guys Mansion as our 16 seed going up against number one seed. The Mansion from Blank Check. Which you mentioned a minute ago, and if you haven't seen Blank Check, starring who? Uh, I don't remember the kid's name. I forget too. Yeah, I, I think he might have been in a no. major, the number one TV show. Yeah. Uh, you know, the second. Uh, yeah, no, wait, I, what's the name? What's the name? I did. I, 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 the I, show's I, name was Family Ties. It was uh, you know right with the Cosby Show at that time. It was one of the biggest shows in all of NBC. I want to say Brian Dayball, but I know that's not it. It's not that's right. Brian Dayball. Yeah, he has the Giants head coach. Yeah. <laughs> it's Brian Bonsell. <laughs> So it's basically like a big fucking assholes. Yeah, it's a big castle type mansion that has a uh, inside of it. There's a water park, a go kart track. Oh my god, this place looks incredible! A, yeah, like jump castle. castles, bungee yeah. jump things, and an arcade. Like anything, like a, as a kid, you would imagine is like the greatest thing of ever of all time was in the blank check apartment or blank check house. And I think he bought it for like. Two hundred grand or something. Yeah, insane. Yeah, it was it was pretty expensive. It was it's, massive. It's also mansion. crazy that that house is in his like regular suburban neighborhood. Too, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Which it, I looked it up. It's just like in Austin. It's just like a pretty regular mm. place in Austin. I mean, the fact that it's it looks totally, like a castle. It's totally overgrown now. Yeah. Uh, so again, blank check mansion. Our number one seed versus the mansion for the nice guys from the ten minute scene, <laughs> uh, which with, is an amazing. I'm gonna amazing go with place. nice guys because also the location, like being in L. A. and uh, and that pool is sick. That place looked awesome. Where was blank check? I assumed like any town in USA, but maybe Chicago. It, felt like it had a little John Hughes yeah. vibe to but it. Did someone not just say Austin? No, that's where the actual house yeah. is. Oh, gotcha. Where is blank check check set? It's set in Austin. Oh, it's filmed in Austin, San Antonio, and also Dallas. So I guess we'll say Texas. Yeah, I, I'd rather be in L.A. Uh, although okay. I, I hear Austin's awesome. Mm -hmm. I've never been. Um, but uh, yeah, that house in the Nice Guys, is, I wish I had thought about that. That's an awesome house. Mm -hmm. So one for the Nice Guys mansion. Yeah, I have to go with the Nice Guys mansion. <laughs> I mean, I would love an L.A. mansion, like... If I'm not going to live in a New York City penthouse, didn't they have a home really... theater in there too? In a home yeah, theater, yeah, big yeah, ass yeah. pool, that hot ass chick, awesome. Yeah, a lot of hot ass whores chicks. and stuff there. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Much like you get the Asian family, you get the whores <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> stuff. A feature of the house. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to go with uh, the in, nice guys. Did we do we point out yet the indoor aquarium that was? Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. huge. Yeah, no, we did not. We let that slip. That place is really nice. That place is great. There's a porn room. There's a porn room. Yeah. yeah. Uh, watch porn. Hey, I'm with you, boys. Let's <laughs> take nice that guys nice guy's house. house. So three votes for the 16 seed nice guys. Stephen Che. I'll go nice guys, but I should point out having an indoor aquarium is going to be brutal. You to hire people. You, you, yeah. You, if you're a couple rich enough, of the whores will take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're just, I assume we're living in the house. We're not taking their financial situation, right? No, no. Yeah, yeah, I get. I feel like you, you get. There's gonna be a lot of algae in that aquarium. Like, yeah, like you'll you'll the taxes are nullified, but yeah, yeah. But think about it: money you'd be spending on rent and stuff. You could spend you could on, just spend on right. aquarium horse. Don't say yeah, I guess aquarium so. I guess horse. So. Why? Yeah, don't it's it's just a line right. Don't movie. say in stuff. Just oh, say yeah. horse. <laughs> good, Jeez. good reference. Reference on the bracket so far. My aquarium <laughs> horror budget is crazy. Uh, Rudy. <laughs> I have to go with the nice guys. It's Tommy's speaking my language. I can't believe I forgot about either the house rules. The castle is cool, but looking at it now, I can't. The current pictures of the blink check house are horrifying. Mm. It's the scariest place ever. And I feel like live, saying you live in a castle, very cool. But the reality of being surrounded by stone all the time, small windows, I don't know. It seems kind of cold. Mm. And I just want to be in an LA mansion. Yeah, there is a lot of uptake for living in a castle or upkeep for living in a mm -hmm. castle. I think upkeep that no pun intended. I actually would have been uh, fuck. I should have been intended. Um, so the nice guy is going to move on. But Blutman. Yeah, my vote doesn't matter. But 
Uh, blank check. That's the movie where there's that absurd age age gap. Correct. Yes. Right. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was that was it. <laughs> they loved that trope back then too. They did that in Big. Mm -hmm. Remember? They yeah. Elizabeth Perkins. What the like, fucks? A little boy. Yeah. She, yeah basically. Jesus, Clemmer's yeah. favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> Clemmer tri is, because I know what <laughs> actor Clemmer tried to <laughs> spin Michael Jackson's Neverland <laughs> Ranch into the plane. No, I did not know. <laughs> Knowing <laughs> someone's name does not make you uh, a predator, Tommy. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the slippery slope. Why would your mind go there? Slippery slope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, I, 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 I really, I really, every day I come in, you know what I hope for every day? I was like, I hope this is the I, day. I, Tommy has an STD. I, I, I hope this is the day. Jesus Christ. Just got a test yesterday, so no. we'll see. Oh, I got my physical. It, it's, al it's always tomorrow. <laughs> um, before we get to the other half of the bracket, let's talk about ZocDoc. Uh, again, every time you mention ZocDoc, I, I literally got a physical yesterday. Dude, booked through ZocDoc. See? Tomorrow I'm going to a dermatologist, booked through ZocDoc. Next week, dentist, booked through ZocDoc. Exactly. Yeah, it's doctor Dude, season, I, baby. I, I also have an appointment that I booked through ZocDoc in 15 minutes I forgot about. <laughs> so, yeah, we all use ZocDoc even before we ever used um, or had him as an advertiser, which I always love. Uh, we all know that there are things in life that you have to compromise on, but when it comes to your health, there is no compromise. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. So once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. And all of these doctors have verified reviews from actual real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviews, credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones that take your insurance, are located near you and treat basically every condition that you're searching for. And the typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is just between 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments. So we've been, again, like half this panel has used them even previous to you ever getting them with an ad. They're incredible. Go to ZocTalk.com slash lights and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com -Z -Z slash lights. ZocDoc.com slash lights. I almost said Zed. <laughs> I like okay, stuff. I actually have to hop into mine right now. I'll be right back. Yep. Uh, so ZocDoc, thanks again. Other side of the bracket, we have the number six seed Mr. Deeds Mansion. Oh, Which is more of like a big ass pet multi four penthouse, I guess, in yeah. New York, mm -hmm. going up against the number eleven seed, the cheaper by the dozen house. So the cheaper by the dozen house, I've I love. seen that one. It was Steve Martin. Yeah, no. you've never seen cheaper by the dozen. No. That seems like it'd be right up your alley. Exactly, that's crazy. But and then um, it was like Hillary Duff, the guy from Smallville. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tom yeah. Welling. Yeah. Oh, I know his name too. Does that make me a bad person? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know people's names. Yeah, Steve, I forget who Steve Martin's wife was in the Bonnie Hunt. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, but the Mister Deeds uh, multi floor penthouse, we'll say, versus the cheaper by the dozen house, which was very cool. There was always like nooks and crannies. That redhead kid was like going up the dumb waiter and shit yeah. all the time. It was cool as hell. Bad X. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, you... you yep. He's one My of the hero, cinematic right. hero growing up. I get it now. <laughs> uh, so, Bloodman, we'll start with you. Of course. The, that, yeah. Mr. Deeds versus uh, Cheaper by the Dozen. This is a no-brainer. Clearly the Cheaper by the Dozen place. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll live where Fat X was living and I'll, I'll go through that lifestyle that he went through as a kid and... You know, I kind of lived it myself, so this will be good. I'll be good at that. Uh, and Mr. Bean says, Frog, I'll take good care of. That's right. I forgot. Mr. Bean is one of the brothers, right? No, Mr. Bean, the frog, and then the frog dies. Spoiler, oh. if anyone was planning on watching Cheaper by the Dozen anytime soon, the Damn. frog dies. Sorry for ruining it. Yeah, I, remember, I forgot. I remember he was like a reptile kid, which the reptile yep. kids were always. Were you a reptile kid? No, no, penguins kid. <laughs> you had what? penguins? Oh no, I was I, I was more so saying what animal I was interested in. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's <laughs> say Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking had penguins. Had, that would have been sick. <laughs> yeah, where the fuck did you live? Jesus. Uh so Las the, Vegas. Yeah, no, no, not the place for penguins. Uh so one for the cheaper by the dozen house, Che. The Mr. Deeds home from the picture that you sent looks like uh Kind of like a snarky, wild psychiatrist office with that with that couch. I would the cheaper by the dozen house. That looks like an amazing home, uh, especially with the the landscaping. Like you got these like hedges outside that are just like perfectly give you enough privacy. You, you can tell Che is gate. deep in Zillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this this is a like two million dollar home. I'm gonna take the cheaper by the dozen house, even though I assume the I haven't actually seen this movie, but I assume that Steve Martin has 12 kids. Is that correct? He does. Yeah. It's that, that's brilliant me, that's deduction. 
That's an insane <laughs> amount of bedrooms to take care of. But. A lot of them live together in this, or in the same room or whatever. Okay, okay. All right, that makes it a little bit more palatable. Uh, cheaper by the dozen house, though, in a landslide. One for the cheaper by the dozen. Another one for the cheaper by the dozen house. Fights. Um, I have never seen cheaper by the dozen. I actually, uh, my sister has, and when my sister was a little girl, her dream was to have 12 kids because of the Jesus movie. Christ. Uh, <laughs> she, like, always talked about it. She's like, I want to have cheaper by the dozen kids. Um, but uh, New York's going to win out for me again. Uh, I would like to have a four-story apartment in yep. Manhattan. Yep. Tommy? Yeah, I have seen Cheaper by the Dozen. I have not seen Mr. Deeds, actually. What? But, oh, really? Yeah, I don't know how that one slipped through the cracks. But uh, Winona Ryder's peak. Yes, yeah. that's true. She never looks better that's in that true. movie. Um, was that one? Did she? She went like she went on her spree right, right, after that, right after that. Right after that. Yeah. yeah. It's for a four-story New York City penthouse. Yeah. It's huge. I'll have yeah. to go with that one. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's I fair. believe it is. It, it's very much in Midtown, though. I think. Uh, or is that where the offices are? When she gets out of when he gets out of the apartment, like he's bringing her on the walk, it feels like it's Midtown. Yeah, right. Yeah, like I, I know they're by the Fox Building one time. Yeah, but that might be where the helicopter lands. But also him and McEnroe look like they're in the West Village when they're egging cars. That's true. Yeah. Um. So whatever. It's. it's I'll take it. But yeah. I prefer if it's not in Midtown. <laughs> What's his name? Is their waiter to uh, John Turturro? Uh, Turturro. Yeah. 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 yeah but it's kind of. He's cool. very funny. In that movie. Very very funny. Very <laughs> and very very sneaky. <laughs> very, very sneaky. Uh, so we're tied up. You're going to break it, Clummer. Yeah, it's Mr. Deeds, the New York element. The, also, the cheaper by the dozen, like the upstairs, seem kind of, obviously, they have so many rooms. It just seemed kind of cluttered. And I, mm. I, I didn't, I didn't care. The house is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but four story. I mean, if we're talking value, the Mr. Deeds' house is way more. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. for sure. No question. Uh, next matchup is the number three seed versus the 14 seed. The three seed is smart, the Smart House from the movie Smart House. And this is maybe a part of one of the rare. Maybe, I don't maybe know if movies. I even know this. Uh, it was a what movie with Katie Seagal, a Disney Channel movie. Oh no! Uh, it was a house that, like, a kid, like him, he had like a single mom, and he their house was kind of like shitty or something. So Enter them in a contest to be like live into this uh, this smart house, okay. which is powered by like an AI host that could oh materialize God. and make anything they wanted. And oh. it was like the, it was visualized as in a hologram as like Katie Seagal okay. as like this house runner or whatever. And that's going up against the number 14 seed, the house from Drake and Josh. Specifically, mo- the room the room that Drake and Josh had was Sick incredible. Room. And I'm going to send pictures for Clemmer, basically. I'm going abst- to I'm going to abstain. I'm going to just I don't know either of these shows. And I, I, I mean, don't, look, you don't need to know the shows to look at them. I know, thing. but I'm just looking at two pictures. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of this. So I'm going to abstain. So it's a thing. house that can materialize anything your mind desires. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I, I just don't have any familiarity at all with either of these things. So I don't I don't feel like I'm... Right, then I'm going to go with the Drake and Josh house. Let the the, the smart the, house, really AI. I don't want AI in my fucking house. Uh, it does go crazy. That's kind of part of the movie, is like that the house rebels against them. Oh, well, that's uh, very vital to know. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't I want that. that. I don't want my house rebel. The Drake and Josh It's also what? That's somewhere in LA, right? Um, that's a good qu- I have, Where is Drake San and Josh? San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, San oh, yeah, Diego. Yeah, you're great. right. Beautiful, beautiful house. That room, I mean, I'd, I'd kick out fat Josh and I would have that whole room to myself, but that's an unreal room. Yeah. If, you, if you kick out He's, Fat Josh, what does that make you? Do you are you? Uh, I mean, I'm obviously Drake. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, not. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, I, I've been saying that for a while. Not in a clever <laughs> way. Uh, uh, yeah. So Drake and Josh. One Josh. for Drake and Josh fights. Uh, I'm going Drake and Josh as well. I uh, I reject AI. Uh, young young me would be very upset with this answer because I have seen. Sm- I have not seen Drake and Josh. I have seen Smart House. I loved it. I wanted. To, I dreamed of a house like that. Now that I've kind of seen the bit, I'm all set with the AI house. I swear they do a big coordinated dance at one point. Yeah, yeah. All the main guys <laughs> that the the, the isn't there? Does they have up. a party at the house too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't need to snitch. The uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll take Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh, Che. I was Katie Seagal looking uh, during the <laughs> smart tech because I think that matters a lot. <laughs> do you know how she looked in Sons of Anarchy? No. Do you know how she looked in Married to Children? Yes. Advanced like five years on that. <laughs> Yeah, go somewhere oh, between those children? two. Maybe, yeah. Would you rather her be hot or not hot? Hot, obviously. I dis- no, but I don't know if you want <laughs> what a that. Dumb then- question. No, but then-, <laughs> <laughs> then it's a tease, Steven. Then it's just a nonstop tease. Like what? It's a fucking hologram. You can't fuck a hologram. So it's three years after Married with Children ended. This movie came out. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me that house. That's that's not bad. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's also 70 now. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. That's right. Great voice actress, too, if you've seen Futurama. Uh, Blutman. Uh, as a kid, I hated that house. 
I'll still hate that house today. Zero interest in being anywhere near that. And, like, the house just, like, it, it, I'm thinking of it like it's trying to kill me. And I don't want, like, I don't want that. So, yeah, the Drake and Josh play. That's, that's, a, good, that's a fair point. As yeah, long as yeah. it's under control, though, having an AI that can make and, like, materialize anything you want. Any, any, yeah, but, give you any information yeah, you want. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty that's big style. caveat. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't need it's under control. I, I My also, wife knows everything. I genuinely don't think I'd want that. Like, it, you say, like, hey, I want a burger, and it, it like, zaps you a burger. No way that's a good burger. I, I, one day, one day it's poisonous. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 it's fair. I don't like the AI stuff. That, that seems short term. Yeah, in theory, if, like, for one time it would be nice. I don't want to live like that, no. where I can just have it. like a slob? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you have no no passion, no aspiration. No, like, it's just like, I can just make it happen. There's yeah, very no, monotone. There's beauty in the struggle. Yeah. As Steven says, the sweet ain't so sweet without the sour. Yeah. <laughs> Bingo. Uh, and the Drake and Josh house is sick. It is. Like, yeah. The actual, their main room and, like, kitchen area, like, that's all very nice, oh, too. Great, like, great it's house. a very nice place. Uh, next up is number seven versus the 10 seed. I know Nick is kicking himself to not be there for this one, but the Hey Arnold uh, house. But we'll say specifically, <laughs> Hey Arnold's room was unbelievable. Yeah. Although that must be hell in the summer yeah. when the, those giant-ass sky windows just beaming in the sun. Uh, and that's going up as the number 10 seed, Wayne Manor. I think oh. it's there's like 15 different iterations of Wayne Manor, so I feel like you can kind of just pick whichever one you like the most and make it that one. I feel like that's fair. We don't have to settle in on a specific one. So the Hey Arnold Room versus the Wayne Mansion. Uh, very curious. Clemmer, you're like one of the number one Batman guys. Very I curious love Batman so much. Uh, so uh, but we ended up blowing, so we'll start with That sounded again. like just like a drunk, like, oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Batman is so great, man. It's making, just You're a about, drunk friend of the bar. I love you, man. Just think about Batman makes me happy. <laughs> I love Batman. All the villains. <laughs> I'm going to send in the pictures, but Blutman, you can go first. Which one of these do, would you rather have? The Hey Arnold Skylight Room versus Wayne Manor? I don't have a clue what the second one is. This is Hey Arnold, though. Uh, oh, Wayne Manor? Wayne Manor Batman? is where Batman Manor is. is. Whoa, that was all at once. I what? You go first, Clemmer. <laughs> that's all you. Clemmer, you take this one. Do you know who Batman is? Oh yeah, but I've never seen any of that. You, you've never, never seen, seen any Batman? incarnation of Batman in any form? Yeah, correct. Not a superhero person. Hmm. So it's just a ma- and you can see the picture in the text change. It's, it's a, a massive. It's a, it's a mansion. massive mansion has a bat cave underneath it. You can yeah. do, you can fight crime. Yeah, it's not even close to coming to what Hey Arnold's got. <laughs> I would agree with that. Yeah, so mm. Hey Arnold easily. It's not even close. Although to note with Hey Arnold, you do live like in a Un- boarding home. I was gonna say you live under a highway. Yeah, you live the under. The noise high- of that has to get uh, tiresome. And you live next to a Vietnamese country singer. A construction worker that breaks bricks in his apartment. And try to think of something that like Oscar and Jesus, who is the other guy, the lady that he? Why is Arnold with? so poor? I've never seen this he, show. He, is, he lives with his grandparents, and his grandparents own a boarding home. Yeah, his oh. parents disappeared. We never found out how. Yeah, never quite okay. figured out why. Yeah. It's, it's just, I, I don't know what you want me to say. Some, you got to put up with them, some things to have a sick room like that. That's fair, Rudy. This is a no-brainer. I am with Clemmer. I'm a huge Batman guy. It's Wade Manor. The Batcave alone sells it. It's uh, I want a place where I can go and brood, and 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 just be That's, sort of sulky, yeah. dark cave where I can surf the internet and pretend like I'm doing things. And then when my butler comes by, I'm kind of rude to him, even though he gives <laughs> incredible advice. <laughs> Would you stream from That's the Batcave? I I absolutely, I'd stream from the Batcave, dude. <laughs> the lighting would be rough. That you'd have to do a big setup for that. I wouldn't even talk. I would just be on Google Earth being like, I wonder if there's a crime going on here. <laughs> Jay. This Hey Arnold room sucks. This is a <laughs> horrible room. Uh, he's got the skylight, so there's no chance he's sleeping in past sunrise. That's a good point. Really. Yep. Uh, the room, like dimensions wise, this is probably like 16 by 8. <laughs> Very small. Still on chat. He's locked in. Mm-hmm. He's got like a little old radiator. He's got a water cooler for some reason. He's got plants growing. Like, there's no way this room smells good. It's, <laughs> it's got to be a bad it's, greenhouse it's, effect. Yeah. Exactly. It's Fruit flies greenhouse. galore. There's not even a window you can open. Yep. Do you think plants cause a greenhouse effect? You mean like the greenhouse effect, like CO two, or like the greenhouse, greenhouse effect of the giant oh, glass roof he had? You're saying like humidity? Yes, yeah. so oh, he's okay. trapping so in all like, that air. New York City summers, like this guy doesn't have an air conditioning that I can see. Uh, he doesn't have vents, like I, unless it comes out of this little. I don't think it comes out of the radiator. What's that thing like, in front of the next to the uh, water cooler? Is that a window? That I don't is a think window. so. Is it? 
He also has a pop out couch. He so does. We're getting a pretty sick detail. <laughs> it, it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, Murphy bed. Mm-hmm. Oh. He doesn't have a bathroom, so he's got to go to the. Well, I mean, the house the has a ba- the house has a. Yeah, it's a communal that, bathroom, that, though. That's that he's sharing with like Oscar and like Mister Singh and all those guys. So this is a horrible place to live. What about the rug, though? Pretty sick. I mean, this ugly. Is, this Honestly, is, ugly rug. This is literally. This is quite literally in orphans' quarters. Like he's <laughs> an orphan to his grandparents. Dude, that is insult. The orphan would kill for this. I mean, this this. I looks, mean, they I mean, Wayne Manor is also orphan quarters, technically speaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair point. Te- <laughs> technically, you're right, but this is a, a palace. I, it's a little bit too much house for me. But as far as like <laughs> how this would present versus like a tiny attic room that only gets sunlight, uh, I gotta take Wayne Manor. And one for Wayne Manor fights. Yeah, I mean, come on, what are we doing here? It's it's Wayne Manor. It's making sure. <laughs> Were you a Hey Arnold kid or no? I don't. I, don't. Uh, I, I watched Hey Arnold. Yeah. yeah. Um. I still have nightmares about the Helga Pataki gum statue. Yeah. Um. But I, I wasn't a Hey Arnold super fan. Okay. But I've seen I've seen a good deal of episodes, and I'm still choosing Wayne Manor. Yep. Uh, Tommy Love Hey Arnold, but gotta go back. I mean, I have a, a sunroof in the living room of my apartment. Fruit flies galore in the summer. Because oh, of that really? greenhouse effect. No. Leak, probably get a leak. I mean, Wayne, also Wayne Manor, I mean, you could, depending on the iteration, choose if you want to live in a city. I think in the newest, the Batman, Robert Pattinson, he lives like in Gotham, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like Wayne Manor, it's like a kind of like a... Wayne Manor's build. always pretty close to Gotham. Yeah, yeah but in, like, in any obviously iteration. like it's, you know, sometimes it's in the countryside yeah. or sometimes it's literally in the city. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I... I Gotta go, Wayne Manor. Another for Wayne Manor. Claire. Yeah, uh, I could become Batman. I'm even. <laughs> I'm even thinking of the Wayne Manor from the 1960s TV show. Yeah, that had the best well lit Bat Cave, and also had a pretty cool Wayne Manor that wasn't too ostentatious. Wayne Manor. <laughs> Wayne Manor. Wayne Manor. Yeah, could you become Batman? You have all the. Equ- I I think by and you guys. I don't know if I say the director. Thank you. The bracket. Get all you, the shit. You right? get all. So the, I get I mean, the Batmobile. You. Yeah, yeah, you get Batmobile, bat, bat, bat helicopter, oh bat all that shit. Oh my god! Bat, bat jet. <laughs> but if you're agreeing to get all that, you're you're getting the Aiden family and parasite. <laughs> that's so, so I would. I don't think that's fair. I feel like we're not. They're key features of the house. Otherwise, it's just a fucking random house. Wayne Manor has the bat cave. You also get the bats, though. You get everything. Like you have to get the bats. See, I guess that I guess that's true. Then then you should get the Asian family if you get the bats. I understand yeah. that. Yeah, Plummer <laughs> would somehow fall on the well just like Bruce did. Yeah, I'm it's completely. Cl- I'm not up. clumsy. Yeah, I'm weird looking, but I'm not clumsy. <laughs> where where would you never Batman... see me fall down? Where would Batman live? Yes, like, I have. Current, when? Like during the combine, you fell. When? You definitely fell. <laughs> I, just, I just threw that out there. It didn't, it's not even be true. I don't think that's true. When did I fall? I'm I'm pretty gr- for such an odd looking specimen. I'm pretty graceful. I don't fall down. You are graceful, but I think you fell. Uh, sorry, Jay. What were you saying? Where would Goth? Where would uh, Wayne Manor be? Like in correct New York City geography right now? Is it like Westchester? Uh, like Westchester, I would guess. Yeah. 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 Dude, that, yeah. Westchester, maybe yeah. Connecticut, like Greenwich or some shit. That like kind of sucks. Like you're only you see the Batmobile or something. Jay, how far is your commute Fox right now? Snake bridge. How you're far like... is your commute? There's a sign on the TV show. Ooh, this office. Yeah. Uh, hour. Okay. A little under. That would be about. Yeah, but I mean, but also you get the bat, you get the bat copter and like the bat jet and like all that shit. Although it's I guess the you bat wing, you're making me mad. It's uh, the bat wing. You get the bat copter, so you can like take it the copter all the way on, into it's your. It's dumb. It, it doesn't call it the bat copter. It's the bat wing. <laughs> it's absolutely Movie right, guy. The, the, the bat copter sounds cool to me. I don't know. They, the f- oh, I'm sorry, you're 14 miles outside Gotham. That's so. That's about yeah. That's like Westchester or Long Island. Yeah, you guys will get his lab. You get like all that shit. Oh my That's a God. lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, but either way, the Wayne Manor is going to move on. Now we have the number two seed versus the 15 seed last matchup of the day. The Tony Stark Mansion in Malibu. A mm. sick one. Again, sending all these in the chat. That's versus number 15 one. seed, the Sopranos Mansion. Uh, which I personally, I think the Sopranos Mansion is a little tacky. Just throwing it out there. I think it's a little tacky. Uh, so we'll start with you, Clemmer. The Tony Stark Mansion versus the, the uh, Sopranos Mansion. Sopranos Mansion is fine, but it's a product of its time. Uh, Tony Stark Mansion is. I mean, that's tough to beat. Honestly, you even you even get those cool like windows overlooking. Yeah, like that's a that's a. I mean, and all the gadgets a, and the suits. 
even without the suits and gadgets, just that view alone is is breathtaking. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's, this is by a mile. Even just looking at it in the picture is just like yeah, I mean, it's th- unbelievable. Go between these two back and back. Like, you I also don't kidding? like. I don't know if I want to live. Where what town is he in? And uh, I forget what part of Jersey he's in. But I don't know he, He's far yeah. enough away from like New York no. City where no. I'm good. Where is he? Where is he living? Sopranos. I forget now. It's definitely not Newark. I'll where, tell you. Is this? Is this? There's many uh, saints of Newark. I don't know. No, but he's closer to Newark, but he's not in Newark. Yeah, sure. Tony Tony Stark's house is this. This isn't a real house, correct? It is a real it house. Is. Yeah, it is. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, no, no. I thought you said Tony Soprano. My bad. Um, Tony Soprano's house is one hundred percent real. I don't know if yes. the, if the Iron Man. Was I would real. guess it is. I would I, guess. I think it is. Too. Yeah, I think it is. I'm just saying. I don't know. Ex- at least the exterior. I'm yeah. pretty sure. North Caldwell is where you're. North Caldwell. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Clemmer, you're gonna stick with Tony Stark. Yes, Tony Stark. Tommy by a mile. <laughs> In with the biggest blowout so far. I mean, I was trying to. We were trying to think a nice L.A. Mansions we yeah. didn't even think of. I mean, the Tony Stark house is. I mean, it would be a little scary, I guess, but sick. The overhang part, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's kind of like the um, the nice guy's house in a way. Yeah, mm-hmm. same, no, it, same it's sort of difference. Iron, it's Iron Man fights. Yeah, it's Iron Man. Uh, I actually in in a Sopranos re- rewatch recently, it kind of struck me that like, I don't understand what they're all doing it for. What do you mean? Like, just go get a regular job. Like none of you are rich. The none mafia? Of, yeah. Oh. Like they're pretty like, well off though. But how? Like like even outside of Tony. Right. Not like Ralphie. Like Paulie's Ralph, not rich. Paulie's not yeah, rich. Ralph, Ralphie, like like when he's finally killed, he's like close to uh, I think he might be a level below Tony. He's living in like a double decker ranch. Yeah. Like I'm like, what the fuck is the goal for all of you here? Like you're mm. you're close to as powerful as you'll get. And you're living in a in a fucking duplex. I think they're also just like inherently lazy. Though. And you have to hide and they your money. They don't want to work. That's part of it. Is the rebellion against the work. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they also have it, to hide it, all their money to a degree. And if you if you buy a house in all cash and you can't have any, you can't prove it at all where it came from. That's tough. True. So with Tony, he but has like was, all those like garbage unions and shit, whatever, like paperwork for it. But maybe they just don't have the paperwork for it. Yeah. So. That's what you do is no show jobs. Yeah, the no shows. It, 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 I mean, it's, it's Tony Stark, no brainer. But uh, I. I was watching. I was like, "Why the fuck, dude? Richie would has you to kill live in, like, people to live here. Richie has to live in like Tony's dead mom's house. <laughs> yeah, with yeah, his yeah. sister. Yeah, he can't afford a place. Oh wait, I was saying, uh, but, but Ralphie, Ralphie has the condo, right? Yeah, or Ralphie the, the lives duplex. a little nicer. Yeah, but it's still not nice not by any nice. by any nice, stretch of imagination. Like it's that's probably currently today a two thousand dollar rent. Yeah, in North was... Caldwell, New Jersey, a duplex. Like, <laughs> what are we doing, dude? Just go work. Like, go get a fucking. Job. Mid-level yeah. finance, but then they show they show like, Vito though doing work, and he has the voiceovers like, "Oh, is it twelve o'clock? Is it twelve o'clock?" And it's only yeah, like 10 that was yeah, yeah. just that lazy scene. as yeah. fuck. It's one of my favorite Soprano scenes of all That's time. Uh, uh, che, the Tony uh, the Tony Stark house is incredible, but the guy who the architect. The home inspector who did like the inspection, they gotta be the biggest liars because there's no way that thing is holding up <laughs> in like any type of like settlement cracks, all that stuff. Uh, so that house is just riddled with issues and is going to collapse at some point. That being said, the view is uh, you cannot duplicate that. That is a shining beacon of the home. Plus, it's massive, very modern. You gotta go to the Tony Stark house. Tony Stark house, Rudy. So I looked it up. The Tony Hart, the Tony Stark house is not real. Really? It's an artist. It's an artist rendering, but it's based off Alicia Keys's house, which really? is called the Ra- the Razor House, which is insane. Whoa. The Razor uh, House. The Razor. It's fucking insane. It looks like a museum. Dude, oh her, my God. her and Swiss Beats, I feel like, are really underrated with how much money they have. Dude, this is crazy. It's one of the wildest houses I've ever seen. So it's based on oh that house. Oh my but lord. But it's not exactly. That's, that's the not fucking real. sickest house ever. It literally looks like a, like a modern oh art museum God. or something. Yeah, it's it's crazy. crazy. Excuse Bless me. You. This house is incredible. This is fucking awesome. Oh, God oh. damn, dude. Weren't you worried like people can see in there though? It's, Alicia I would, Keys I would like has it all they don't have any out. neighbors. Yeah, very that's close. Fair. But like just someone, anybody with binoculars in like a, a mile radius. Alicia Keys doesn't get enough respect. Great artist. Damn, Great artist. she's this? also like super hot. Also true. We knew you were gonna go there. Uh, but mm-hmm. yeah, gorgeous place. Goddamn, so, so, so talented. And, like this, how? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Rudy. Go ahead. Um, I'm obviously gonna go Tony Stark house. The garage, 
yeah. everything about it, the design is very cool. The chandelier, the spiral staircase that isn't an inconvenient spiral staircase. It's yeah. more of like a, a double helix staircase. I, I don't know. But uh, I do appreciate the 90s rich house. And when I was looking this up, and fights may have said it, but like, yeah, like rent for that house would be nothing in today's market. But I, I do have nostalgia for like '90s rich, mm. where it's like that's considered a mansion, but nowadays is considered just like a regular home. You're describing having... nostalgia for the middle class. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this could be I'm a photo commercial. <laughs> yeah, but Tony Stark's just blows it, blows it out of the water. Shea is right though; it will plummet to the ocean. But fuck it. Yeah, but I mean, the good thing is you can always take the Iron Man copter into L.A. like right, really easily, really fast. Take right? the Iron Man suit. It was suit a copter would be quicker, I would imagine. Right, right, Rudy. Are you setting me up right now? The Iron Man suit versus a helicopter? No, the Iron Copter. Nuts? I'm just making sure. There's no Iron Copter. <laughs> it's the Iron Man suit. That's the vehicle. Plumbing. Rudy's right. It is the Batwing. Don't ma don't mock him for that. Is that yeah. what you're insinuating? Yes. Yeah. I don't like that. Okay. Talk to Sorry. shit, Climber. That's my guy right there. Uh, Blutman. Yeah, good luck to all of you when the big one happens. You're all done when that earthquake <laughs> happens in California. That is and, a good point. You know, yeah, since, since the last time I was on here, we've all watched The Sopranos by now. We've all come <laughs> to really appreciate and cherish it. So I'm going to I'm gonna throw him a bone. I'm going to mm -hmm. take The Sopranos house. What's your favorite episode? Yeah, the eighth one. That might actually be the worst one of them all. I think that it might be a hit as a hit. What's the eighth one? If it's a hit as a hit, it's the worst episode in Sopranos history. Sopranos. Uh, uh, the second season. Subjectively. Of one, oh, yeah, yeah. He didn't say which season. He, it's The Legend of Tennessee Multisante. No, that's not as bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that one's good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before we get to the other half of the bracket, let's talk about Good Chop. Everyone wants to start their year off on the right foot, and for me and for us, that means that we're making sure that we're eating well enough to get the energy to do everything that we want to do. But I'm not going to run to the butchers every day and get a fresh cut of quality meat. It's just not going to happen this time of year. That's why Good Chop is such a lifesaver for me and to all of us. Good Chop offers fully customizable boxes of high-quality meats and seafood delivered directly to your door on your schedule. The products are vacuum sealed and frozen at peak freshness that you can stock your freezer and cook when you want. You could choose from over 70 high-quality cuts, 100% grass-fed ribeyes, USDA prime filet mignon, free-range organic chicken breast, pork tenderloin, and thick-cut bacon, just to name a few. And they also offer sustainable wild-caught seafood, salmon, Pacific cod, scallops, shrimp, and more. Uh, when they send it to me, their bacon, whew, like all the meats were great, but I haven't had bacon in a very long time, and that bacon was unbelievable. Very, very, Nothing very good. Nothing beats great bacon. Yeah, Nothing. and I mean, like, and I know KB's not here, but number one BLT here, made a BLT with it. Just nothing like it. Uh, good yeah, job. Hungry. Especially prides themselves on sourcing uh, high quality meat that comes with no antibiotics or no hormones ever, no artificial ingredients, only the good stuff. Go to goodshop.com slash bracket120 and use code bracket120 to get $120 off across your first four boxes. That's code bracket120 at goodshop.com slash bracket120 for $120 off. Goodshop.com slash bracket120, code bracket120. All right. Go through the playoffs. Uh, first matchup of the day is the Richie Rich Manor versus the Mr. and Mrs. Smith Manor. Uh, I'll send these back in the chat so that Blubman can see them. But again, Mr. and Mrs. Smith House, the big pluses being you get all these like secret rooms and stashes, guns, uh, IDs, um, cash, all that shit. There's the Richie Rich Manor, which is just a, a truly massive mansion that also has a McDonald's in it. Uh, I'll start with you, Clemmer. I don't want the guns. I don't like all that stuff. Uh, I want, like Price said, I have to remodel it to make it something more boring. Uh, I am choosing the Richie Rich house. What you are you a big Richie Rich guy? Not I. I know it more from the comic books, like Archie. You remember Archie comics? And if you couldn't find the Archie, you'd pick up a Richie Rich. But that house was sick. There's also a show in the '80s called Silver Spoons, which was like a Richie Rich knockoff. Okay. Um, so I have I have some more memories there. Okay. Uh, one for the uh, Richie Rich Manor. Tommy Smokes, Richie Rich Manor versus Mr. and Mrs. Smith House? Uh, Richie Rich Manor. Just a bigger, nicer house. I was saying I also don't want the guns. Yeah, fair. Yeah, two for the Richie Rich. Uh, I'm going to go with Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Um, it is... It's a nicer home. I, I, I don't need a lot of space. Mm. I, I have a bedroom right now that has nothing in it. And it's been that way for three years. So if you maybe give me a bunch, a bunch more rooms, they're just going to be empty rooms. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, don't, I need a TV room and a bedroom. Um, so that is all unnecessary. 
I, do, I just like the look of the Mr. and Mrs. Smith house more. I, I don't really care what's inside the house. I want people driving by to get jealous. And people driving by the Mr. and Ms. Smith house, they'll be like, damn, I bet he's got some cool stuff in there. Meanwhile, it's very be... bland looking, though, the house. From the I, I think it's. I you know, think... Mr. and Mrs. Smith house, it's like a big ass white house with a red door. That's driving it's... by the Richie Rich house, you'd be like, what guy got in there? You couldn't even see it. By it you couldn't even be able to see it. Yeah. No yeah. one's driving by it. Yeah. If you could. Now, if that was a smaller home and uh, sequestered away, away yeah. I would I would choose that. It's just too much house. As, it's as, a lot of house. As Jay yeah. said, it's just too it's much house for me. Theoretically, if you weren't allowed to have McDonald's in the house, but you could have a different fast food place, what would you pick? Another eating eatery in your own mansion. Uh, probably Wendy's. Mm -hmm. uh, Great pick. Yeah, probably Wendy's. A Red Robin? Never had a Red Robin. Um, Red Rob, Rob Robin. Roy. Yum. That's what they do. <laughs> um, Rob Roy. Or whatever the place is. Never had Rob Roy. Roy, 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 Roy Rogers. Roy, 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 Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. I, I miss them, man. They used to have the fixings bar or whatever. Yeah. Great, great it was shit. a great rest stop stop. Yeah. Roy Rogers. Correct. Uh, uh -huh. Che. But it's a someone who's never had Red Robin. They have sides that are unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> Name, yeah. the side yeah. Yeah. Name the side you, you want. You can, you can get french fries, onion rings, broccoli. Which, which do you think state shades chooses between those three? Uh, french no, fries. Which, which are you choosing? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. French fries, onion onion. French fries, onion rings, or broccoli. Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to talk over you. You were getting, uh, we're getting choppy Waggy. a little bit over here. Um, French fries, onion rings, broccoli. I would probably go. I like broccoli the most of the three, but if I'm in fast food mode, I'm probably going onion rings. <laughs> onion rings. Yeah. Yeah, I like onion rings. Very good. <laughs> yeah. What was your exact? It depends. Quote with Red it depends what my entree is, to be honest. Yeah. Like, if I got a grilled chicken entree or some shit, I'm getting broccoli. If yeah. I got a burger, I'm going onion rings. Yeah, burger, I'm going to go. I'm probably going to get a burger, and I'm probably going to go onion rings. But I would I would honestly, in a, if, if we could somehow separate the two in my mind, I would prefer the broccoli. Mm. But this if we're talking the bottomless aspect, I could probably take down the most more fries than onion rings. This yeah. led to a yes. Kirk Minahan show thing where a producer went to Red Robin and complained about not having enough fries. And they're like, you can order as many you want. They're bottomless. <laughs> it's quite a debate on the show uh, about three years ago. Yes. What was so? What was the exact quote that you had that one time? You're like, uh, so people were just talking about fast food items they like, and you're like, the bottom is broccoli at Red Robin is elite or something like that. I think it was like it was an auto order. Yeah. Like just because like yeah you get as much broccoli. I if I'm going out to like a fast food place, uh, I, I I can understand the onion rings and the fries. I like those things. But if you have multiple servings of broccoli, it's almost impossible to feel bad about yourself after. Well, when, like, you're oh, well like ripping ass. <laughs> when you're ripping ass yeah, well, after yeah. people feel bad, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Che, Richie Rich Mansion versus Mr. and Mrs. Smith Mansion. Fight set it on the head. This is just way too much house. I mean, the Mr. and Mrs. Smith house this is beautiful. This is probably like 4,500, 5,000 square feet. <laughs> We're looking at like five bedrooms probably. It's like a very large house that any one of us would be very privileged to live in. Uh, but it's like not too much. It's also very nice looking exterior. The Mr. and Miss, the Richie Rich house, the lands, you're going to spend your entire salary doing the landscape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're going to mow on yourself, you're looking at four hours. No, yep. thank you. Wait, so Che, where, where, what are you doing right now? Like, where do you live? We are renting a home right now. Gotcha. We're looking to purchase a home. I will say when you're buying a house, it consumes you. It's all you think about. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, we bought our house, like for six months, all I could think about was house, 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 house. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> uh, Rudy. I'm in agreement with Fights and Che. It is too much house, but I was looking at pictures of it, and I came across a pond with humongous lily pads. Yeah, oh, they do have that. Oh, you get a little Monet pretty, on. Look pretty fucking cool. And now it's a question of, do I want an arsenal of weapons or lily pads? A dilemma I knew that I was going to come to at some point <laughs> in my life. Every man does at some point. Mm -hmm. I mean, could I you, you could sell the arsenal of weapons. Good. And That's build a, a pool. Point. You could probably build get pretty good cashish for that. You could maybe sell it to Ukraine. You mm -hmm. could sell it to anybody. anywhere you want. Really? It. True, but you sell it to the Russia. Thing is these <laughs> lily pads defy <laughs> belief? I think these lily pads are the size of the Mister and Mrs. Smith house. It's so whimsical. But I'm going to go with Mister and Mrs. Smith because I know. Could you lay on a lily pad? This lily pad? Yeah, dude, you could break dance on this. <laughs> really? Now this float it around in a lake on a lily pad. That sounds is incredible. Pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going. I'm going lily pads. <laughs> oh, it's okay. so sick. Switching it's to Richie so Rich. Sick. We're three for Richie I will Rich. Go crazy in this house, though. I will go crazy. Two for uh, Mr. And Mrs. Smith Butman. Yeah, this one's pretty simple. It came down to 
I'm not going to have any use for any of the guns, the weapons, etc. I'm just planning on selling them, unloading them, and that's going to be some nice money for me, and I'll figure out what to do with it. Maybe help Che out with some landscaping bills. <laughs> Sounds good. So, so I'll go with that. So Please. one for the Mr. and Mrs. Smith house. We're tied up. Um, this is tough uh, because the Richie Rich house is massive, like you're saying, but it's also just significantly too much house yeah. for one man. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith house is sick. You could live with your boys. Yeah, I mean, I think imagine. if I remember correctly, yeah. the guy that created Minecraft, that has like the sole proprietorship or whatever, like he's so rich, but he's so bored that he offered to pay all of his friends. He's like, I'll pay you whatever salary you're being paid to just hang out with me all day. And they were all like, no. They all, <laughs> they all said <laughs> no to suck. Yeah, you got to say no I to I think that. the Zappos yeah. guy, did, I think a lot of rich people do that. Yeah. So like if like your best friend paid you and they were like, I'll pay you whatever you're being, more than you're being paid. Yeah, but you, you got to give them like a fake you. job. Like, oh, you're my fucking show. You know, yeah. like, just give them fake jobs so it's not like their only job is being your friend. Yeah. But would you take that deal? No. Yeah, oh, I, so I would, yeah. Be so boring, I wouldn't. Dude. Because what if. That would, how does that help you down the line? Like, what if you go to a next job? Well, can I can I keep done the last can three I keep years? My job and do that? Probably not. You'd be on call for this guy. I think you'd be like, well, you'd have to write <laughs> me in your like, will. All I gotta do is hang out with him. Yeah, but like, if he wants to go on vacation. You couldn't. They would be like, what are you doing here? Like, you couldn't have both jobs. All right. I'll stay at Barstool. Until Seraphin offers you the job oh, one day. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Fucking Seraphin's crib should be on this list. Seraphin's got a fucking crib. Does he? Crib. Yeah, in oh. Connecticut. Uh, I'm going to go with Mr. and Mrs. Smith just because I just want just a little more manageable territory, and it is just an amazing house on top of all that. Uh, so Mr. and Mrs. Smith can move on. On the other side, the nice guy's mansion from that 10-minute scene versus uh, <laughs> the Big Daddy Loft. Oof. Oof. This is gonna be oh, what lot. a good one. Yep. Uh, Clemmer, you're up first. I mean, the Big Daddy Loft's awesome, but like, the and New York's great, but like, that that mansion in Nice Guys is incredible. The pool, like all the home theater, like all that's incredible. Like, this is horse. Well, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know the horse. You wanted to say it. I know. I don't want. I don't want the horse. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want the horse. I like the house. Summer's wife is an adamant watcher of the bracket. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, 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 even before I met my wife, I've never once. I the prostitution. I, don't I, I didn't think you did, but now I kind of do. <laughs> no, like I never. I never understood. It's like you're paying. Like, how does that? That trans. So transactional. Must feel weird. I don't know. Yeah. You, I never been interested. They're, they're in that. clearing out your fucking aquarium. No, no, that's. Different. He's just talking about general I'm pouring. Talking, he's not I, talking I, about these specific. I, I never understood the allure. I agree with you, and and then I, I was at a strip club in Miami recently, and the stripper was like, "Do you want to go fuck me?" And I was like, "Oh, I get horny." <laughs> 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 Did you take her up on it? Oh uh, my god! <laughs> oh shit! Was it, did did did, uh, did you take her up on it? No, no, no. Oh, no. so you didn't. So you just. Nah, like, I just. I, I I'd was be too like, intimidated. I was like, yeah, that's what I mean. I was just like, I get it. They I offer like, that there, bro. They offered. They were like, "You want to go do coke? You want to come fuck me?" And I was like, "Yeah." I've got to get them. Uh, like, I've got to get them. I am. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I want to do those things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Clemmer's picking the place with the horrors. Uh, Tommy. Um, this is really hard. These are the two places I'd want to live most. New York City, L.A., Mansion. The thing is, the Big Daddy apartment, it's nice. It's not like the best ever New York City apartment. There's better options. I, I just kind of disagree. I love that. Dude, the, yeah, that might be the best. We one, have Mr. Man. Deeds we have, we, on this bracket still. It's a yeah, nicer it's in apartment. Don't get it's me wrong, in but it's not, It doesn't have the charm. Oh, I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. I think I'm going with the Big Daddy house. What am I? I, I, I go crazy alone in the hills like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. What am I going to do? How would I get fed? You'd definitely be alone. How would I get fed? <laughs> How would I get fed? <laughs> <laughs> Do they have seamless out there? What a like, funny way to say it. <laughs> How would I get fed? Yeah, food. It would take a while. <laughs> I like like I like being in the mix. Like I like living yeah. in the mix. Like I don't I think the LA Hills, like it's it's you know, I know you got some neighbors, but you're you're far away from like real civilization and I don't think you're that they're not that far away from real civilization. I, I, I you don't make it sound I, like right, they're like in All right, they, I don't drive. I wouldn't be driving on those hills. That would be a problem for you. That would be, be a problem huge for you. Problem. <laughs> yeah. So I have to go with the big daddy. It's, it's out of my hands. I couldn't learn to drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows that. He's too terrified. He's yeah, scared. I would be too afraid to drive on those hills, and I would not be able to get fed. <laughs> so for that reason, I have to go where like I live basically a childlike existence, <laughs> yeah. where everything gets done for me through different apps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to go where I can access those apps the most. So, so I'm going with the big daddy. Tied loft. up. Fights? Uh, I'm going big daddy loft. No brainer as well. The... 
I, 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 I honestly think like that, like the big daddy loft, that's kind of like my goal. Mm. If I could live in the big daddy loft, I would be so happy. Like that, that's like you achieved everything you want in life, John. I, I honestly agree. With that. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, that, that loft is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. But although he's I, not that you'd be living, living the same life, he's also like hanging out with his delivery men and stuff, which is yeah. to your point. <laughs> yeah. Hanging out with the delivery guys. Uh, so, Che? I'm going to go with Mr. Nice Guy's mansion. Uh, and I also think it's very ironic that Clemmer looks down on uh, John's because he has pretty much the exact same pant game as, as John's. Very, very similar jeans, I would imagine. Huh? What? Who? What? what are you saying right now? You think I have the same pants as someone who wants a prostitute? Who's John? Yes, yes. John's, John's, like, are, John's, John's are prostitutes. Like a John's, door user. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Why, oh. why, why oh. would oh. someone wearing oh. jeans get get a, a prostitute? Uh, Walk me through this like, logic. It's like a late forties, early fifties, like regular, like blue jeans type guys. You Those mean I dress like a normal middle aged man, and that equals someone who wants a prostitute? Look at this dude. <laughs> this, 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 this joke felt very flat. <laughs> I'll own that. I'll own that. I mean, you, you, if we, if any of us, like, you'd be most likely look wise to get a prostitute. Yeah, if you're, if you had picked in a lineup, like which one of these guys is used towards you, yes. probably pick like Clemmer, then Rudy, then that somewhere after that. I think. Uh, yeah, just I, admitted to it. How are you not gonna throw that at me? <laughs> look at those pants. That's not whore pants. That's not wearing whore pants. <laughs> Hand up. I completely I, forgot uh, Feidelberg's first name was John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so confused. I was like, and his pants special? were a topic earlier in the show before yeah. he got on, so it was a whole thing. Yep, it was a whole uh, thing. Yeah, that also was a part of it. Uh, so, uh, that was really funny. Uh, so, uh, Rudy. This is a really hard one. I'm worried about the loneliness in the nice guy's house. The Hollywood Hills, the weather is incredible. That house, the bar, the various hot tubs, pools everywhere. I forgot about rooms. the bar. That's yeah, right, cool bar. Yeah, very cool bar, but it's just... When it's empty, it probably is just so hollow. Yeah, and it's hard. It's hard. And then the <laughs> I know, nice Rudy, like you always say, your goal is to be bi coastal. Like you want the, and I feel like this is you're basically choosing right now. I am. I am. But I also had a new one I wanted to pitch to you. I thought of this when I was in Austin. To pitch to me? Yeah. Uh, a <laughs> new, a this, new dude. what? <laughs> a new, a new bi coastal elite, dude. I call it the North South Contemporary. Think about it. Chicago, incredible. Shitty winters. Austin. Incredible, horrific summers. North South, the new one. You don't go all the way across. Kinda, okay. Kinda, yeah, no, it's not some, bad. Like by border. Some. Anyways, by border. I feel like a lot of people do that with like New York and Miami, but yeah. Chicago and Austin could work too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I think I'm gonna go Big Daddy just because it has more character. It feels more lived in. I'm more a part of society. Those high windows. It's just sort of mm. more unique and has more life. So I, I, I think I'd be better off there. So we're three to two in favor of Big Daddy over Nice Guys, Blutman. Yeah, I think it's really funny that I got thrown into this with this topic because I'm like the simplest person there is, and none of this stuff actually really appeals to me. So the the thought of living in the Hollywood Hills <laughs> at this ginormous mansion <laughs> and what Tommy like I echo what Tommy said. The winding roads and the Horrifying. I don't even drive, so now I feel bad for the Uber Eats guy because I can't cook for myself. Um, this is a no. Yeah, this is a no brainer to the uh, Big Daddy House, but yeah, um, you would fit in well in that. I'm glad you picked that. Thank mm. you. Uh, <laughs> I'll figure out what to do. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Big Daddy House going to move on uh, before we get to the other half. Last out of the day, uh, BetterHelp. Uh, the bracket is sponsored by BetterHelp. A lot of us spend our times uh, in our lives wishing that we had more. The question is, uh, had more time for what? And if time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze the special thing into your schedule is to know that uh, what's important to you and to make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so that you can do more of it. Uh, I think I mentioned that every time we talk about a uh, BetterHelp ad, use them over COVID because you couldn't physically see my therapist. It was awesome. Just continue doing that. So much better than actually having to go into an actual office or physically go anywhere because we're lazy bastards, as you're all hearing throughout the course of this, uh, that we just are just absolute lazy pigs. Uh, so if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Uh, learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash lights today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash lights. 
All right, thanks to BetterHelp. On the other side, we have the Drake and Josh House versus the Mr. Deeds Mansion, or uh, Mansion Penthouse, I guess. I have to go, but I would vote for Mr. Deeds. So, yeah, okay. See if you can grab Marty on the way out. Okay, I will. I think I saw him, and he, or he was originally going to be on, too. Sorry, so. guys, I got to catch a train. But... No worries. So, the Mr. Deeds Mansion versus the cheaper, or the uh, Drake and Josh House, Plutman. Hmm. This is a tough one. Um, I'm thinking. Give me a second to think. Take your time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. Just, just it's a tough about, one. Yeah, yeah. A lot riding on this. A lot riding on this. Most important yeah. decision you've ever made. I don't know if that's actually true, but I'll go with the Drake and Josh house. Um, I have nothing of substance to add though. Okay. The Drake. So the Drake and Josh house again the right the regular parts of the house are okay but i think the room is the big selling the room, the room is i mean it's also like from what i remember the exterior like it yeah. looks like it's a nice i i'm doing this to get that padre's foam finger <laughs> yeah that's right in san diego <laughs> and they uh i think their mom doesn't work in that dad's a weatherman right mm. some shit yeah. like that yeah. yeah uh rudy i'm looking it up right now um the thing I do not like about the Mr. Deeds house is that it has that center staircase. You know, the staircases yeah, yeah, yeah. in the center that go out the side. There was a yep. scary movie when I was a kid. I can't remember the name of it. That scared the living shit out of me and it had a center staircase. Mm -hmm. So I hate those. And just off that, the inside of the Drake and Josh house, very cool, you know, chill vibes. It's a little, the Mr. Deeds house is a little bit too, you know, vampire-y for me. I don't like the beds. I don't like wooden beds. They're just too loud. So I'm going to go Drake and Josh, chill zone. I don't like the placement of that staircase. Yeah. Yeah, right? It's not, not it's, 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 it's un, unpleasant. So right now we have the Mr. Deeds Mansion, Marty, versus the Drake and Josh house. Just to oh, give you a heads up where we're at right yeah. now. Anything you want to pick? Mr. Deeds. Thousand percent. It looks awesome. <laughs> Like that's the coolest place in the world. They're, What's cool about they don't like the, the They don't like the, the, the placement room. of the staircase. The room? It's a cool There's room. There's chaos in that room. Well, it'd be, oh. they'd be gone. Those two would be out of there. It'd just be you living there. Oh. And no Megan either. Yeah, you don't live with the cast. Oh. That's not fun. <laughs> might, unless you wanted to. Unless you wanted to. I might want to, Blutman. I feel like there's, there, there are certain people, like certain things that are attached to the house. like with Parasite, the Mr. Deeds. you get the Asian family. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Deeds, mm -hmm. you get the, the waiter. The, I think like Wayne Manor, you'd get yeah. Alfred, right? Wayne Manor, you'd definitely get Alfred. Yeah. We didn't even consider that. Yep. I'm going Mr. Mm -hmm. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. Uh, che? I mean... Or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also going to go to Mr. Deeds. While I don't like the furniture or the decor, you can swap that out for your own stuff. Four-story place in Manhattan is pretty nice. That can be... Like, not only a place where you can live solo, you can raise a family back. That's more than enough space. Um, so that would be pretty great. So Mr. Deeds. Three to two in favor of Mr. Deeds. Bites? Deedsy. New York or nowhere. Yep. Tommy? Deeds. Easy. Deeds. Wait, is, it a house or an, is it a house or an apartment? It's like oh, a four-story apartment. Oh, on Google it was a house. Wait. You it, might be looking at Mr. Deeds' actual, like, house in, like, Vermont or whatever. That's a real guy? Mr. Deeds? No. Wait, it's Mr. Deeds' <laughs> house or it's... Uh, Big Daddy's house. No, Big Daddy's got a tone. No, Big Daddy's on a separate, okay. th separate thing. Got yeah, it, yeah. Got it. Got it. Uh, oh, yes. I didn't realize there was an apartment. It's yeah, it's like a four-story penthouse. It's huge. Mm. Uh, on the other side, Tony Stark's Malibu mansion versus the uh, Wayne Manor, Batman's Ooh. giant superhero estate. showdown. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'll start with you, Mush. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I gotta. Do you, do you want to see pictures? Yeah, of... I gotta see a picture. I, I I'm not a. I never seen Tony Stark. Iron Man. Yeah, I never seen. You ever seen Iron Man? No. I don't Great know. I, I shouldn't be like crazy surprised by that. I don't think. Here's uh Wayne Ma or Tony Stark's house. It's oh, in Malibu. It's beautiful. It's in the like the middle of this gorgeous overlook of the sea. Uh huh. And that's against Wayne Manor, which is just like kind of this big, open mansion, old. Oh. And out, I guess I don't. What do we consider out near New York? I guess. Yeah, be like Westchester. Absolutely, Malibu. That place looks terrible. Wayne Manor. Have you ever been? You get the Batcave. It also burns and, down and like the Batmobile times. and the Batcopter. Yeah, but that like the, the look of an old. I hate old looking houses. Mm. Also, have you ever been in a really like a way too big of a house for no reason? No. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, like they don't have enough stuff to fill it. Like. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Like, yeah. My friend when I was a kid. Yeah, it was I had a crazy. rich friend too where I was like, there's, you don't need all this. Yeah. yeah. It was nuts. Too much. They'd have like a room with a couch in it. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are we doing? You know John C. Riley? 
He has an entire room in his mansion dedicated to paintings of clowns. Not joking. Like, he's dead serious. And I've talked to actors and I've been to the room and they're like, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, Believe it or not. I would, have, I would imagine so. Yeah. Tommy? How would you describe the clown room? Yeah, like, it was uh, pretty freaky. weird. Yeah. Pretty weird. This is hard. The, I mean, aesthetically, the Iron Man house is nicer, but Blutman did bring up a good point about those earthquakes. The earthquake mm. is a scary thought. And even just falling Big off of it is scary. Yeah. It's a cooler looking house. Malibu's nice. I prefer to live... I don't know if I want to live in the suburbs of New York City, though. I want to live in the city. I don't know if I want to live in the suburbs. Well, you could take the... And I the, get the Iron Man suit. But anytime you want to get to see, you just take the back copter downtown, wherever you want, and like land at a helipad. And then you can go wherever. Yeah. I'm going with the, I'm going with the Tony Stark house. Okay. One for the Tony... Another one for the Tony Stark house. Fights? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back cave or uh, Wayne Manor. Um, the tougher one than uh, how I just answered would lead on, but I've been thinking about it, and <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick with the back cave. Sticking with the back cave. Yeah. Better with better for sweaters. Yeah, it's <laughs> so clear. It's so clear. And all my decisions are sweater based. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Jay. Uh, Tony Stark house. Uh, based on the look of it. About forty percent of it is probably susceptible to falling off the cliff if there's an earthquake. I think the other half, you're going to be safe. The house is going to probably be ruined beyond repair. But again, the view is incredible. I got to go with that, and it's also like less house to maintain. It's more yeah. inviting too. Yeah, yeah, way more inviting. Yeah, there's a hauntedness vibe to the Wayne Manor. Yeah, Rudy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is tricky for me because I'm a huge Batman guy, but when you think about it, Bruce Wayne has this incredible Batcave a friend in Alfred, all the technology in the world, all the money in the world, and still manages to be depressed. Yep. Tony Stark is a superhero that still has a good time, and it's because he's in Malibu chilling. And it's just more fun, dude. Like, doing a, like you can, Tony Stark does barbecues on his deck. Bruce Wayne ain't doing that. He's never done a barbecue. Never so once I in his life. To, so I have to betray my favorite superhero, and I got to go Tony Stark. Tony Stark, Blutman? I look at... I, I like. I'm just the wrong person for this. I look at both. Blutman's <laughs> furious every time he gets them. He's like, "Why am I here? Why did I pick this mansion?" I'm not, I, it's just it's like I look at. I look at both those places, and I, I just in kind of disgust. Like I have zero interest in either of them. I, what I've been thinking of is which one I could flip for a higher profit. And I think it'd be the one Malibu. Yep. I guess maybe a good way for you to think about it is also like the shit that comes along with it. Like, would you rather? Have Batman and his gadgets, or would you rather have like the Iron Man suit and that Jarvis? Shit? You get Jarvis, yeah. right? I mean, I I'm such a like Batman and Iron Man guy. Like, it's hard to choose, really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Really? I, still don't, <laughs> I still don't believe that you wear shoes either, Blutman. I'm wearing slides today. You wore slides I, all weekend when I saw you too. Not well because that that was weekend we were doing the long streams and stuff and I'd rather be comfortable right. Uh, yeah. Today I didn't realize that I was wearing slides. To, uh, I was walking down the stairs to go film a video. I genuinely thought I was wearing shoes till I heard the sound of the slide. The slide of your own. I could see like your pant like peeking out through the slide. I've never seen that look before. That was incredible. Yeah, pretty sick. <laughs> uh, Stark Mansion uh, versus Mr. Deeds uh, Mansion. Blutman. Is this to get to the finals? This is to get into the finals. This is who? Uh, the Stark Mansion versus the Mr. Deeds Mansion. Oh, or Penthouse. Mr. Deeds, yeah. <laughs> no doubt for Mr. Deeds. Rudy? Mm. He helped. I'm going to go Stark. I just need that sunshine. Needs the sunshine, Che? I'm going to go Deeds just because, yeah, again, you can change out the furniture and stuff like that. It's a beautiful four-story penthouse in Manhattan. No danger of earthquakes, whereas mm -hmm. Stark's Potentially, doom is on the horizon. <laughs> Potential doom on the horizon. <laughs> Fights. <laughs> Deedsy. Deedsy. Three for Deedsy. Tommy? I'm just looking for more pictures of the Mr. Deeds apartment. It's like, it's like a four, I think like a four-story penthouse, right? Yeah, I, those earthquakes. I'd always be thinking about it. Another for Mr. You guys have been thinking about it since I brought it up. That's <laughs> all you've been thinking about. Mr. Deeds. I'm going Mr. Deeds because I always think about uh, how to get to those Malibu houses on those cliffs? Mm -hmm. Very tough. Yeah, and, like I think if you gotta go to the bathroom, a lot of winding. Like, you gotta 
take well, a shit. The house probably has a bathroom. No, like if it's getting close and you got to do the windy roads yeah. and like uh, yeah. it's tough to get home quick. <laughs> I think that's a big problem. So I'm going to go with uh, Deeds. So Mr. Deeds in the finals. I realized I forgot to do the semifinals in the last one. So Big Daddy, um, the Big Daddy uh, loft in New York City in somewhere, we determined somewhere downtown, right? Uh, versus the Mr. and Mrs. Smith mansion, uh, starting with you, Rudy. I feel like you don't even know need to know what the Mr. Mrs. Smith house is to pick Big Daddy. No, mine's uh, Marty, but yes, it's. Uh, <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said Rudy. Rudy. Uh, um, one of those days. Yeah, I don't know what the Mr. and Miss. It's a, it's like a nice looking house. It's like a raid, it's like a nice mansion. Uh, I, a bunch I of guns and shit. I don't in even it. know if it's a man like. I don't know if it's ma- the mansion tag. Yeah. Oh, they it, have guns. Uh, that's a mansion. They that's have, a suburb, very large suburban house. The yeah. the retail, the Zestimates. Like I'm going big. big <laughs> Zestimate. <laughs> Big Daddy just seems like it's open, flowing, whatever you want. Yeah. Whatever you want goes there. He eats cereal a lot. Sounds nice. It's honestly very similar to the Chicago office. <laughs> in, in fact, condensed into a smaller apartment. Yeah. Uh, Tommy? Big Daddy apartment. It's like, I mean, Fight said it, it might be the ultimate goal yeah, in yeah. life is just trying to get the Big Daddy apartment. Fights. Dude, just give me the Sandman final. Sand- yeah. yeah, true. <laughs> uh, uh, Trey? Critique about the... Big Daddy houses. It, the the doors. Not only was the elevator, but don't they have like a kind of like one of those pull up doors that's like almost, no, it's, uh, it's sliding. Like it's elevator. sliding. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it does look uh, very industrial, but it's a slider, not a pull up. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard for me personally to beat the the Mister and Missus Smith house. That is that is the ideal living. Mm-hmm. One for Mister Missus Smith house, Rudy. I'm noticing a trend here. The the loft boys are are sort of more bachelor oriented, and that is a bachelor pad. That is yeah. a place yeah. where you go and you're like, "This is a cool place. I'm a cool guy. I do cool shit, and you should yeah. have sex with me." <laughs> Jay is on the family side of things. It is a gorgeous home, yep. but I don't want to be in there. That's fair. I want to be in the law. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's a good setup right there. We fucking in the <laughs> law tonight. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to go to the man's with me. Yeah, Blobman. Yeah, I'm going to have so many allies on my side <laughs> when I offload those weapons from the Mr. and Mr. But, oh, I'm once again rolling with that. Uh, Blobman's going to become like the greatest depend, arms dealer in the world. <laughs> If you if you're giving weapons to other people, they're gonna they're gonna shoot them, and then that's your foe. Uh, let me handle things on my own. Give me one more Lucy. Give me one more Lucy down no. the show. Okay, yeah, no, do your thing. Tommy, do go you... for a second Lucy. Uh, to end the show. You missed okay. the part. I did a Lucy earlier. It was a big moment. Your first one. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Big Daddy versus Mr. Deeds in the final. A final you should love. Uh, Adam Sandler, New York City yeah. apartment. Sad battle of, of Adam Sandler, New York City Do we apartments. Know where Deeds' apartment is? We, 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 we were guessing Midtown. 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 So the Midtown, filming but, location. But the, the scene with him and McEnroe, they're in the West Village, it looks like. Oh, but they were partying. Uh, yeah. So, so they, they, yeah, they took them there. Been, they could have been out and about. So, oh, no. Oh, no. The <laughs> Mr. Deeds filming location of this looks like it's 8th Avenue and 33rd Street. Oh, Midtown West. Ooh. That might be literally the Hell's worst Kitchen? intersection in the city. That's, there's no way that house that that's that directly penthouse. west of Penn Station. There's no way that penthouse that's, is there. Eighth. That's definitely an upper west side. Oh, this says no. Side. Now this says Fifth okay. Avenue between 50th and 50th. I would have guessed like upper east or upper it? west side. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's just we'll say it's not Midtown West. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So Blutman, Mr. Deeds apartment versus the Big Daddy apartment. I could listen to you guys talk about New York and the streets and stuff all day (laughs) and retain none of that info. I've only been to Brooklyn (laughs) once. Didn't really enjoy it much. Don't think of myself as a New York guy. I don't think I'd fit in there. It's uh, uh, This is a tough decision. You guys are all going to figure it out, though, so I'm happy for you guys. You're going to pick the right place. (laughs) You could give you. me the Mr. Deeds one, though. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Deeds. <laughs> I think you'd fit in fine, Blutman. I think you'd fit in fine. Uh, I, not in New York. <laughs> Dude, you put a beanie on Blutman, he'd fit right in. Yeah. Why did you only go to Brooklyn? Uh, work. I worked with the big three back in the day. Mm. Oh. Interesting. Dave, Big Cat, and KFC. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, Rudy. It's easy, man. Loft boys rise up. Hey, hey. Do you think a girl that you brought home would be more impressed by the Big Daddy Loft than they would be by the... I actually, I actually think, think it's closer be, than you think. I think she'd yeah. be more impressed by the Loft. 
I think the 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 Mr. Deeds one. It's like, all right, like this is whose grandpa's apartment. house yeah. are you living? Like yeah. you inherited yeah. this or yeah. something. The big daddy one. It's yeah. like, oh, my man's worked for this. Yeah. Yeah. My man made some TikToks and he pays yeah. for this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. This is yeah, a like, cool ooh, guy. He must, do, he must do drop shipping. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, Jay. Deeds, just way more square footage, uh, <laughs> better 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 footprint. You get a butler included. Yeah, yeah. Sign me up for that. Everyone is so clearly about what they're about. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Looking to buy a house right yeah. now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Deedsy. Deedsy, Deedsy, Deedsy. Wait, Deedsy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was getting my Sandman's confused. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. All right. We're tied up right now, Tommy. Yeah, I think as a single bachelor in New York City, the highest you can aspire to be without becoming like, you know, a legitimate like fucking Rothschild or something is... The big is the big daddy lot. Yeah, it's and like well, I I don't need all the floors in the in the like I I he mean does I know have two floors I think in the big daddy right. But but I, I don't need kind of like one's just as bed. It's kind of like a loft, right? Yeah. It, like it's kind of like floating in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. need four floors. Like I also like I mean my apartment is very small. It's like uh, it's like when people it's like all right I got a bedroom and a living room and a bathroom. What yeah. more do I fucking need? <laughs> well, and that's so like stupid. What? <laughs> so stupid. I, I have would a buddy. Love a big apartment. <laughs> I'd like a bigger one, but you know, I don't need four stories. The, no big loft daddy, is huge. the big daddy one might be the perfect. Do you want to live in the big daddy loft together? <laughs> Dude, you, you talk about how you don't need, like, when people come over and stuff, just remind me. I was talking to my buddy who's sober recently, and he moved, and he was telling me how he just has a chair in his apartment. And and, <laughs> and he was like, I was like, you gonna get a couch? He just goes, Nah, man. If I got enough people over, they need, they need to sit down. I'm doing something bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's your smart thinking. Yeah. <laughs> no tables. We had, we had chairs for like yeah. four months. Just two chairs, and nothing else. So we're now we're three for Big Daddy, two for Mr. Deeds. 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 Oh 100%. fuck. percent. I actually, I, I just like the look of the loft. You gotta like go upstairs to go to bed. Yeah. You have four yeah. fucking four stories. There's in the elevators in the deeds. There is elevators. Sure there are. Yeah. Uh, and the deeds house is. Uh, Could Chay get stuck. Is right. Chay's right. There's Marty, so you much. just described every home you're gonna live in for the rest of your life. <laughs> you gotta go upstairs to go to bed. I, yeah, but I also, <laughs> but the stairs go, lead to somewhere else. These stairs <laughs> what? lead to a loft where I see the rest of my apartments. Uh, oh, okay, I get it. it, it. The, the, the only mean? drawback to Big Daddy House for me is peeing in the middle of the night going down those stairs would be mm. a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, I'll just pee on the floor. Around the floor, dude. Uh, yeah. Do the Dana method to send the bottle. <laughs> the bottle, so uh, <laughs> just roll over into a bottle. <laughs> I had a buddy in college do that, but he just pissed on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so it's three three. Oh. It's three three. Um, fuck. I really didn't want it to tie break. Uh, I'll tie break. Big Daddy Law. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna tie break in favor of Mr. Deeds. Because I, I just think tied again, Blutman. <laughs> <laughs> Double yeah. tie. Saying to the bracket approved. So saying to the bracket approved. I got to vote twice on this one. Ever I picked the first time, Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. Yeah. All right, more buttons. for us. <laughs> Me, Rudy, and Fights will be living alone in the fucking Big Daddy <laughs> loft. So the winner of the bracket 119 is Mr. Deeds Mansion. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks you guys for joining in late notice. Appreciate it. And sorry about people having to leave. It's one of those days. Uh, but we will be back with the next week. Uh, see you then.